What's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to ATI Auto Business. My name is Jay. You know, my goal every Tuesday night is to bring you another trade show presentation to you wherever you are because your automotive business deserves the latest in transportation and logistics news. And if you're busy, and I know you are, in a moment, I'm going to give the welcome show lineup. If you're watching on demand, you're going to know what to expect. You can use the clickable video time code links below the video in the video description i spend a lot of time on those so use those you can click on them skip ahead remember to like share comment tell your friends thanks for watching ati we sure do appreciate it dealers auctions brokers carriers remarketers consigners repossessors mechanics lenders forwarders insurance agents exporters and yes dispatchers who did I miss? Why is it important to get to know the value everyone brings to the automotive ecosystem? Future conversations, future networking, future business? Why are you in automotive? And are you sure the way your granddaddy did it is still working? Ty Thompson, cars on the move, he's in the building, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about why ATI is is in everything automotive. So please, join the live chat, ask your questions, share your thoughts, grow your business, break out of your vertical. Because it's Tuesday Nights Live on ATI Auto Business. My name is Jay, I'm your host. Welcome back to the show. What's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to ATI Auto Business, Tuesday Nights Live. I'm your host. My name is Jay. We'll be together for the next couple hours. Yeah, I know. It's a long time. But uh, we're going to try to keep things moving along. Thank you so much for taking the time. Join us again tonight. Welcome show lineup. Please don't. <laughs> I know I get into a rhythm. You know, um, what I want to say about tonight's show is that we're going to do something a little different. Um, it's a little bit more behind the scenes, Jay and Ty, but we made a lot of notes. I spent the day yesterday with Ty, which is pretty wild to do that. Uh, yeah, whole day. So please do feel welcome. Feel welcome. Jump into the live chat. Say hello. We're going to go into the live chat in a minute and say hello. Um, because this is probably going to be more of a core gathering. You know, we got industry news and all that. And then we're going to bring in Ty and we really aren't, we have no other guests tonight. If you were with us last Tuesday night, Titans of Car Shipping 2, that was so much work to put together that um, I was exhausted. And, well, actually, now we have a bunch of other stuff to look forward to. So we got car conference in a month. Now, that doesn't mean a hill of beans to everybody. Um, but many people it does. And we're going to tell you why it means a hill of beans to us and much more. Uh, these trade shows... We can't stress enough, if you've never been to a trade show, and, and you're just like, if you reach the point where you're like, man, I want to go to a trade show, which one should I go to, when are they, check in with us. We're constantly looking at the next trade show. When we have meetings with businesses we're, we're just getting to know, one of the things we ask is, what's your next trade show? It's, it's a thing. It's an actual thing. Um, all right. Check, check. We're okay. Mic two. Yeah, we're good. 
Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I almost forgot. See, I'm a little... I think I'm a discombobulated, but that's okay. Please do click share, copy, grab that YouTube link. Leave a like. See, everybody look, everybody look down. See if you can find a like laying somewhere around on the floor. You might have one left that you didn't use earlier on all the TikToks and the whatnots. Please do leave it here. We sure do appreciate it. Um, if you are lost in equipment, car shipping, business development, you feel like you're spinning your wheels, you're staring at the load board, and you're just losing your mind, call or text I Thompson, 417-483-2764. I'll put it in the live chat as well. And you can send in the news. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Yes, we have. We've got some uh, quiz show questions later in the show. We've got industry news coming up. So actually, after this, we're going to go into the live chat. So stick around. We'll be right back. Recon 2023, time to line, speed to sail, manage by metrics, know what you don't know, technician efficiency, workflow efficiency, more cars, less time, know where your cars are, connect to what you expect. Rapid Recon can help. Car, car dealers can see the Rapid Recon difference with transparent communication through the vehicle reconditioning process, auto remarketing, and dealer inventory management solutions, visit rapidrecon.com. Please do that. And I like that ad too because he's talking about there's several things in there. Actually, you, you should if you were taking notes, there's rapid notes to be taken. Time to line, efficiency, and even gets into where are the cars. So we do that on ATI, everything automotive. Let's jump into the live chat. Links in the live chat. This could be a good one because we are, man, we are just really loosey-goosey. Um, sometimes the show planning gets away from me, and that was the situation tonight. But I've got the, the how do you how do you put together an everything automotive show? It actually started to turn into a freight train. It's all right. It's ATI. We got this. Kimberly is here. Welcome to Tuesday Night's Live. We are glad you are here. Thank you so much for taking the time to stick around with us. Share things if you've got things, or just say hello, or just kick back, pick, kick back the lazy boy. Car Hauling with Chip is here. Good evening, everyone. What is going on, John? Uh, Carlos Braxton is here. ACB Logistics. What is going on? Chris Chamberlain is here. I, you know what? This we got the Fridays right now. We got the Friday show lineup. Friday we're going to do an equipment show, which is interesting because we do so many things. But we come back home. Car hauling equipment is Friday, and I think we're going to be at Midwestern Car Carriers. That could be amazing. We're hoping for a great show on Friday. Ty is in the live chat, jumping around. Um, how did you survive a full day of Ty? Right. <laughs> I mean, it was a long day. Um, it was a good one, though. Really good stuff. And we didn't even get everything done. So I was working more on ATI... ATI Academy? What is that? I was working on it more today. Ants, Artie is here. What's going on, Artie? I watched the Titans. Wow, was that good? Thank you, Artie. That's awesome. I, You know, I thought it was good. Uh... I'd say a few things about Titans of Car Shipping. One is that, one, I thought it was good. I thought the guests were good. I thought the guests were varied. Like, just between, we had Jason Kong, Pamela Patton, Eftem Eftemov, Trent Broberg, Keith Bradley. That's just five Titans. But they were all pretty much broker, digital platform, tech companies, which was cool, too. So Titans of Car Shipping 2 is digital platforms. And they were all a little bit different, had different input. And did you see this? We didn't read, I didn't read a pre-written question for a whole hour. You, you will never see that at a trade show. As much as I love trade shows, one of the things I get tired of is all the pre-written content. Actually, when we go to trade shows, we just hang out in the expo hall. So, anyways... And then we're gonna be, we're gonna be, <laughs> good job, Jay. You're, we're gonna be in the, 
general said, well, we're going to try to mix it up. We're going to try and do things different. Stick around. Industry news. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, links for Rapid Recon. Oh, Kicking Up Dust Transport. <coughs> Saying hello in the live chat. Uh, how has ATI been? ATI. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. That's what tonight's show is all about. Really, there's no point in... Um... Well, Artie, that was my idea. Shucks. <coughs> you know, it, so, it just so happens that if there was anything I'm good at, still trying to find out no it's it's like coming up with ideas uh hosting content um unfortunately there never really was a job for that that i could fit into so i had to create this job but yeah like titans of car shipping and, and here i'll tell you here's the secret the secret to like you know idea generation and you know chasing uh you know a tumbleweed is uh, I had come, I had I came up with a show and the show was called like Thought Leaders in Car Shipping, and then I was talking about it, and I said, yeah, it's a show, it's a bunch of titans, and that was it, and that's how you do it. Okay, All right, really, that live, we're gonna do that. We're gonna give those secrets away. Stick around. Here comes uh, industry news right after this. Thanks so much again for jumping in the live chat. If you joined in for tonight's show, you're probably a part of the core because we don't have any, we're not featuring any specific companies, any specific guests, any specific topics, but we'll let some secrets out of the bag of what we're doing next. So stick around. We'll be right back. Transport Auto Quoter is by far the leading auto quoting software on the market and the only auto quoter with a pro version that comes preset with accurate pricing for anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about it. The best part is that no change with your current software is needed. Just plug TAQ in and start booking jobs. Carriers can easily plug TAQ into their current websites and start making money right away. I bet you're wondering how we do this instantly and accurately 24-7. Well, constant analytics is the key. Our price watch team is constantly monitoring current market conditions, paying close attention to seasonal and quick moving industry changes. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time and data to maintain good pricing, time that most of us just don't have on a daily basis. So free yourself up. Using TAQ Pro is really a no brainer. Save time and money, maximizing your leads and optimizing your online investments. You'll finally be able to sleep well at night knowing that TAQ is on the job selling for you 24-7. Never missing a potential job. Are you searching for that midnight auto shipping quote and new lead software that you can trust? Provide instant, accurate quotes online. With Transport Auto Quoter and move cars fast with Pro ABD CRM. Visit superflowsystems.com. Links in the live chat. All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. <laughs> It's show 283 in a row on Tuesday on ATI Auto Business. It's ATI is in everything automotive. Uh, really, the theme is, um, you know, as I got to thinking about him, we are everywhere. I know some people, you know, actually, so here's what happened. Is I give these, uh, like, presentations to businesses that are like, hey, so, you know, how do we get involved with ATI? What do you guys do? Who do you talk to? What's your audience and all that? And I give these presentations, and I have to explain that um, we, we have roots in transportation and logistics, but we have grown far beyond just that vertical. And the reason is, there's actually a really good reason, and we had to figure it out. Uh, we knew we had to do it, and we found out that really what we're doing is we're bringing the transportation and logistics news to the other verticals in a realistic way, by the way. Uh, it's not a puff piece. I mean, it's reality. And then the reverse, bring in the rest of the automotive industry back to transportation and logistics because what I think we all know, and we'll see, we'll talk about it later, is that uh, YouTube and Facebook uh, issues that relate to carriers, that it's not going to help you in business development. All right, we'll get to that. All right, so it's ATI Everything Automotive. 
Um, and who are we talking about? What are we talking about? Well, even recently, you know, dealer Valentine's Day. There's the dealer. Auction remarketing Mavericks. We got auction and remarketing. Auto logistics unfiltered. Remember that one? Carriers speaking their minds. Uh, consigners. What's a consigner? We did that in December. Consigners are the you want to, those are your friends they you want to talk to consigners they're the ones moving a lot of cars boy can they keep you busy titans of car shipping last week right thought leaders in tech companies brokers uh seaport services what was that december where right import export compliance storage delivery all that repo bunch right repossessors recovery so much to know and this, this show keeps on giving. These are friends of ours now. Um, and then, you know, you do I do the family photos. There's, <laughs> there's Joe Overby of Cherokee Media actually on ATI. So it's the front of the store, the back of the store, around and around we go. Get up on the roof, go down in the basement, look out the windows. You know, get to know the whole store. That's what we do on ATI. Don't just stand around in the in the transport parking lot. Let's go around front. Let's talk. To, this is what Ty does on Fridays. Let's talk to the guard shack, etc. All right. It's a big ecosystem. And for tonight, we'll just... Okay. Whole ecosystem in a nutshell. If possible. Why, why do we do what we do? One of the things I like to point out is that if you're looking for the beginning for chapter one of what we're doing... We're following the disconnect between sales and operations. Just because you can sell it doesn't mean that's how it's going to get done. And that's why it's important to note that contributes to the transportation dumpster fire. Which, by the way, there's many reasons for the fire. Um, but, you know, many people say, well, it is what it is. Oh, well, okay, all right. That's one way to look at it. Well, you know what? We're not going to do the, oh, well, we're not satisfied with that. Uh, you know that if you tune in on Thursdays on Dispatching Live, it's gotten pretty rough on Thursdays because we are, we're just, you know what? We're just going to take the truth head on. That's why I say there's now the Dispatching Live effect. Do you feel a little woozy? And then you, and then over time you realize, wait a minute, this is the truth. I did take the right pill. Right? That's what happens on Thursdays. So, and who knew that a picture in front of a Mannheim auction a year ago would turn into total chaos where Jay and Ty are now, we're, we're, we made it to, we're finally in, in some of the trades and we're going to be featured at car conference on stage. Ty has his own workshop transportation dumpster fire that's really going to happen in front of people wearing suits the next day i'm going to follow up with heavy loads ahead i've got joe burkari john larrick john robertson dan kennedy and fo plus folks in the audience ty's going to be walking around with a microphone it's going to be great we're going to kind of do like a but i think both both days are going to be a little bit of well probably a lot of live ati style you know, there'll be some there'll be some sweating. <laughs> you know, uh, have you seen this show, War of the Auctions? What's cool is we now, Ty and I will will run into we'll have meetings and we'll actually bring up this show. You know, if, if we want to if we want to really draw a line in the sand of the difference of you know, every people say they're rebels and all this stuff, and okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna bag on your your rebel. Uh, narrative, but who else has War of the Auctions, the ACV versus NAAA lawsuit coverage in depth? Those would be crickets because it's only on ATI. You will not find, and I'm telling you, this is important stuff. Now, I'm not trying to cause a fight. But this is an important lawsuit, which tells a lot of information about digital auctions today. You want to watch War of the Auctions. That's why ATI is here. And I think I smell War of the Recon coming up. We'll stay tuned to that. We'll see. It's different. There's no lawsuit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And, that, you know, that's the thing, too. I'm bringing wrestling to the main stage. It used to just be this little fun thing we talked about on Thursdays. 
sweep it under the rug, don't worry about it. Yeah, well, you know what? I think we, if it's still happening, maybe we might want to worry about all the wrestling going on and the do whatever you want. Because like this, remember when we said Sue was upset? Sue's upset about this. Now, uh, there we go. Can you see? Okay, there we go. Now, many people know what this is and where it's at, right? This is the, I'm just going to say it. This is the Central Dispatch Transactional Ratings System. Now, I don't know where else you will hear that many people are unhappy with this. And we are ATI and we're going to talk about it. That's what we do on Thursdays. You should join. If you have any trouble with if you love it, by the way, if you love this, please join us on Thursday. We are dying to hear from somebody who loves this. How did that get in there? Um, and by the way, <laughs> other things that I point out on Thursdays, you know, if you send an email two weeks ago-ish, and you've already passed two of the deadlines-ish, what? Really? What is that? Find out on Thursday. It's thermonuclear Thursday on Thursday. So here's the question. What media do carriers consume? I got asked the question point blank today and we faced it before. So you know what? All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try and treat this like an actual science experiment on YouTube. It would appear that, and, and this is not, these are new car haulers. If you ask like a veteran car hauler what they watch, they're probably watching YouTube videos of like, you know, stingers and loading and stuff. But it's more independent car haulers, the wedgies, right? They are looking at make money car hauling videos and they're expecting to make 10 grand a week or more with a wedge trailer and a pickup. Now, does anybody want to chime in on... Uh, uh, Feel free to jump in the live chat. If you've seen one of these videos, and this is what you're aiming for, let me know. Is this working? Because I know of at least one YouTuber that made videos like this that is now opening Pokemon cards. I'm not kidding. Really? I just said that? Let's talk about Facebook. There are Facebook groups... Hot shot trucking, auto transport, everything. And this is what's being talked about. Equipment for sale, low rates, maintenance issues, bad brokers, bad dispatchers, DOT violations, high insurance, and CDL questions. Now, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's all carrier stuff. This is the essential problem. There's nothing on this page here outside of the carrier vertical. How are you ever going to learn how to talk to a dealer? Or an auction. Or a consigner. I mean, how? I don't actually know. But if you've got the answer, put it in the live chat. I'd love to know. For example, I'm not kidding. Here we go. This I went just to see what's the news right now. And it's looking at this load board car hauling seems to be gone to shit. Which we cover on Thursdays. But, okay. What is that? <laughs> By the way, have you thought about looking at something else? <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about this. Nationwide network of 17,000 plus haulers. I know. Take it in. 17,000 plus haulers. I think that's more than Central Dispatch says they have. Are there really 17,000 plus haulers? active, ready to pick up cars. Because if the shippers think that, no wonder they're upset. Wait a minute. Don't tell them there's 170,000 car haul, whatever it, the number is, empty around the corner, ready to pick up. That That's why you got, dude, where's my car? And then there's this. I've grown so tired of dealing with transporters. Anyone recommend any brokers? Need brokers who work nationwide. Now, I get this. I understand. But did you know that brokers don't drive trucks? Just saying. I'm just... 
So we've got the ATI Academy. We're working on it. We're building it. How many carriers do you really have, and are you serving them? Oh, that's a novel idea. Well, why aren't they serving me? Well, we ask the hard questions here. Uh, because you know what? Guess what? You guys know this one. Have you seen this video? This is hard work, man. The damn reps came off the back of this. Came off the back, so I'm hanging by thread. I'm hanging on by thread. Any little thing can make it fall off. So, okay. Dude, little bitch ass left. But I managed to get the truck on the trailer. Got it on the trailer. However, I'm hanging on by thread. Look at that. Hanging on by thread. I think I'm gonna get a tow truck in here because look at this. That's bad. That's more than half the tire. No, I can't try it no more. I was going to try it again. But I'm about to get a tow truck in here. The ramp's too small. Yeah. Pulling it off. Look, my man right here, Gunner. He got me out of the stand. He took his truck and trailer, hooked it up with the straps, and then pulled the truck over to get on the ramps. And then we was able to roll this thing up back on the trailer. Okay, this is what I came up with. So, I show the video because there's community help, uh, precaution, all those things happening there. So it, it's not as bad. That would, that, would, that would run contrary to the dumpster fire idea. That is an awesome video. I want to see more videos like that. We usually see like the negative stuff. Send me the good stuff. Send me, I want to share it. I want to, sh I want to try to share the good news and paint the full picture. Because uh, that, that is a wonderful video. Thank you. Send it in, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Send me an email. Let me know what we need to share about our ecosystem with the rest of the ecosystem so the universe understands the full picture. It is how you get your car shipping business news. It's on Tuesday nights. Put it up on the big screen. You know what time it is. And it's an awesome video. All right, step right up because we got five new questions. That's right. Are you a car shipping guru? Play Ask Larry. Five new questions every Tuesday night. Are you guys ready for question one? What You never know what it's going to be. Ty, thanks for your help. Here we go. On average, how many full-size cars fit on a Stinger? Three, five, seven, nine. On average, how many full-size cars fit on a Stinger? Now, I see John Larrick is in the live chat. John, is it <laughs> is it a number we don't have on here? Yeah, you made it just in time for Larry time. You did. You planned it. It's 728. That's right around the time that we hit Larry. You got it. It is. So it is. It is nine. I mean, it should be nine, but someone's going to say 11. Mine goes to 11. <laughs> All right, let's just get the... <laughs> it's nine. It's a stinger. Now, you don't hear about stingers on the hotshot groups because they're not looking at stingers. Well, not until later, not till they've been around the block a few times and then they realize, although with all the single car moves today, maybe not so much. Good to know. Question two. Here we go. <laughs> What's the maximum height of a standard fully extended height stick? What's a height stick? 10 feet, 13, 15, or 18 feet. Right. <laughs> Good one, Silver Mint. That is, that is, <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, God. Uh, well, anyways, what's a height stick? Is it 10, 13, 15, or 18? I don't know. I just used the bridge to find out. <clears throat> uh, Jay will start sharing my phone number anytime. Yeah. Yeah, man. Write it down. Um, there you go. Get a bumper sticker. Slap it on the car. Okay. All right, what? How tall is the height stick? Artie's got 15. Candy's got 15. 
Going once. Going twice. 100%. Oh, he's 100%? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> ah, 15 feet it is. All right, here we go. Question three. What is the appropriate carrier pay to ship a running 2005 Ford Excursion on an open carrier from Whitefish, Montana to Sedona, Arizona? Is it 1580, 1870, 2150, or 2500? Appropriate carrier pay to ship a 2005 Ford Excursion open carrier, Montana to Arizona. Hmm. <clears throat> well... What do you guys think? Let's see. Ty's got 2500 I don't think that's going to be right. I don't have my map in front of me. Uh, oh, and Artie's... Is it 16 Is it 15 Was that the right answer? It was. I think it's 15 I, I think a heavy duty is 20 I know insurance alone will put you out of business if you are not flawless at fuel. It's not easy, but I'm not telling. <laughs> uh, oh, we're going 2150 on this rate. 2150. Do I hear? Okay. Anybody else got 1580? Anybody else on 2150? Do I hear 2500? 2150 going once. I'm afraid it's going to be 1870. I hope that's not right. That's the pessimist in me. Anybody else? This is a tough one. This could be anything. Honestly. It's Central Dispatch. Rates are not good right now. 2005 Ford Excursion. It's probably a, a private individual and nobody cares. Uh, 2K if I can stop at Grand Junction for the weekend. Alright, so 2150. It's got to be 2150, right? Here we go. I'm telling you, this is... It ain't going to be over 2150. I can't imagine. Oh, okay. You got 2150. There you go. <clears throat> Plus, what are you going to do? What are you going to put with it? Right? You know you're going to lose some miles somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be, see, here's the thing is, candy, it could be just a theoretical, speculative possibility. But I don't know. Good question. Actually, we should ask Mark if these are, are these actual vehicles? I don't even know. Question four. When hauling new cars, which type of load securement is preferred? Is it chains, straps, bungees, or rope? Hauling new cars. Load securement, chains, straps, bungees, or rope. This is a good one for a shipper because I don't, I don't know what a shipper. I'm assuming I think I know what a shipper would say, and I don't think that's the one that's preferred. I don't know. It's a good question. Artie's got straps only. Ty's got bungees. Candy's got scraps. Keep it to yourself, <laughs> Okay. Question five. Here we go. It's a family show. True or false? The main reason brokers make so much darn money is because carriers refuse to engage in sales, marketing, and business development. Right. Those are old straps. Way to recover. True or false? The main reason brokers make so much money is because carriers refuse to engage in sales, marketing, and business development. And you ain't going to hear this anywhere else. Believe me. Nobody's going to talk. Well, you will on Facebook. Go ahead and ponder that one. We'll just, you know. <clears throat> okay, Silver Mint. See, Silver Mint, 
How can that not be true? Everybody wants to know. And that's the thing, too. I don't know, man. I listen to it. Who I, I hear the question. Who determines the rates? And everybody wants to say carrier. I know it should be the carrier. But is it? I mean, there's that guy. He said he wants a broker. Even though brokers don't draw... Whatever. I'm no dog in this fight. I'm just going to keep moving. Pass! Oh, good. It's time for a break. All right, good. Do me a favor. Stick around. If ye dare. We'll be right back after this. Ship Your Car, Car Now presents Integrated Automotive Transportation Solutions. When your car buying customers are on your dealership website shopping for vehicles, they can easily find an instant shipping quote. By entering simple information, first name, last name, email, and phone number, delivery zip, delivery state, and clicking the button, get your shipping quote. Choose from express shipping, enclosed transport, and proceed to checkout. Review the order summary, enter the delivery street address and city, and click next. Simply enter your credit card information just like any other online shopping cart. And when you are ready, click review your shipping order. Check your shipping order one more time and choose proceed to checkout. Your delivery is all set. If you want to ship your car now, go to Ship Your Car Now. Ship Your Car Now provides a full suite of vehicle shipping services for all types of businesses. That's why Ship Your Car Now offers trusted carriers good paying loads that pay fast. Visit ShipYourCarNow.com. Links in the live chat. See, and since we're friends with everybody in the ecosystem, now we are, I mean, we just said, we just pointed it out. Um, yeah, no, you don't have to do sales, marketing, and business development. There are other companies that will do it for you. They will take care of that. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Okay, so it is now time for Industry News Part 2. And what we say is, attention business developers. We just told you why you might want to develop business. Here's your weekly pulse on ATI Auto Business at approximately 7.30 Central Time, give or take. Top news. Now, we said this, I think it was last week. GM buys 400 trucks to transport its cars to dealers faster. Uh, word on the street as this, that doesn't affect every aspect of new car OEM truck capacity at GM. But, uh, well, this is news. As of the other day, GM says it's going to ward off the surplus of trucks. That is vehicle production. GM, GM's plan to idle its full-size pickup factory in Indiana next month suggests the automaker is trying to avoid returning to days of stockpiling vehicles on dealership lots. Dear Granddaddy, GM has plans of not returning to days of stockpiling vehicles on dealership lots. There we go. That didn't take long. Um, General Motors plan to idle its full-size pickup factory in Indiana next month suggests the automaker. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we are going to actively manage inventory levels, including plant downtime. You can't see it. It's at the bottom. Plant downtime? That's part of the strategy? Yeesh. Maintaining a 90-day supply of vehicles is not the goal anymore. Instead, automakers are looking to increase day supply from the steep lows the ongoing semiconductor shortage produced while not building so many that they're swimming in cars. Automakers have learned that it's typically now better to let Fort Wayne plant be down for two weeks of managed inventory than is to keep running flat out and keep producing and putting in an incentive on the end. GM aims to have a 50 to 60 day supply by the end of the year. Now, uh, asset heavy owners will tell you probably tell you that's fine because you know everybody downsized a little during covid anyway so that's probably going to be fine but did we take a couple chairs out of the musical musical chairs group well, I'm, I'm guessing but you know i'm just speculating 
Future Fords could repossess themselves and drive away if you miss payments. The car could drive itself to a junkyard if it costs too much to repossess it. And then there's some schematics. I'll just keep reading. Ford applied for a patent to make the repossession process go smoother for the bank, that is. And by the way, don't worry, this is only repo. The patent document was submitted to the U.S. Patent Office in August 2021, but formally published. Its title, Systems and Methods to Repossess a Vehicle, describes several ways to make the life of somebody who has missed several car payments harder. It explicitly says the system, which could be installed on any future vehicle in the automaker's lineup with a data connection, would be capable of disabling a functionality of one or more components of the vehicle. Everything from the engine to the AC. For vehicles with autonomous or semi-autonomous driving capability, the system could move the vehicle from a first spot to a second spot. That is more convenient for a tow truck to tow the vehicle, move the vehicle from the premises of the owner to a location such as, for example, the premises of the repo agency. Or, if the lending institution considers the financial viability of executing a repossession procedure to be unjustifiable, the vehicle could drive itself to the junkyard. But that's it. Nothing to see here. Oh, and then there's the schematic. Dude, car, police, repo, medical, lending. Fill in the blanks. What would be your schematic edition? Nissan uses electric trucks to transport vehicles in L.A. Can't see that one either. Nice news. Nissan, Nissan's use of electric, can't see that either. Wow. Does anybody, does anybody still work here? Holy cow. Uh, Nissan's use of electric heavy-duty trucks to transport new vehicles is an important milestone. Ty loves this. <laughs> Towards carbon neutrality. Key points. Nissan is using two electric heavy-duty trucks from Nikola and Kenworth. Nikola? To transport new vehicles from the Port of L.A. to dealerships in the L.A. region. The program is being conducted, which is interesting because talk about range anxiety. Yeesh. The program is being conducted in collaboration with logistics partner Avant Guard Auto Logistics. And a charging solution has been installed to support the trucks. The first dealership deliveries using the e-trucks were made to Downey Nissan... Yada, 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 proof of concept, good times, high-fiving. Nissan's committed to achieving carbon neutrality across its operations by 2050 and aims to have 40% of its U.S. sales being electric by 2030. It's not going away. It's just not. It's not going to die. <laughs> um, have you heard of the Coalition for Electric... I know, it's more EV. Coalition for Electric Vehicle Transportation, CEVT. Represents vehicle and trailer manufacturers, auto carriers and dealers, and experts in transportation logistics. The partnership is focused on solutions to transport EVs safely and efficiently across the country, reduce diesel emissions, and make the cost of electric vehicles more affordable for consumers. Look who's on this coalition. Eh, just a couple companies. Um, this letter... In short, here's the purpose proposition. Okay, so if you got a bunch of Ford Mach E's, guess what? You got it two empty spots because of the weight. Well, uh, EVs are heavier than their gas-powered counterparts, and federal truck weight laws, unchanged in 40 years, reduce EV load capacity by as much as 28%. So, to accommodate the heavier EV uh, allotment, the solution is targeted legislation, that would increase gross vehicle weight limits for stinger steer auto transporters by 10%. That's 8,000 pounds while capping single and tandem axle groups at a 10% increase. And that would allow, theoretically, to get those other two Machis on the stinger. And there it is. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? <laughs> And sincerely, the coalition, again, not a small group, 
See if we can get a future show with some coalition members and learn more about it. Subprime Auto Lenders. Uh, this one folds. This came from Ty. Thank you, Ty. As more Americans fall behind on car payments. You know it's a thing. You're seeing it. American Car Center told employees the business was closing its doors a day after it pulled a 222 million bond sale from the market. Try to sell, try to sell, try to sell. Okay, everybody's fired. The used car retailer now, uh, which tends to target consumers regardless of their credit history, said in an email uh, to employees on Friday, they're going to close everything. The day before it was, uh, we're looking for uh, something other than that. Service drive revenue for franchise stores remain at record level. Yeah, but Jay, how does this apply? Well, these are the pieces of the breadcrumbs we, we pay attention to. We never know when we're going to use this knowledge to our advantage. But remember, service drive revenue for franchise stores remains at record level. Rapid Recon talks about this too. Rapid Recon will be back next month with a show. Service drive and fixed stops. Oh, look at this. Cox Automotive made the news again. Available car signs five-year remarketing partnership with Cox Automotive. Car supermarket group available car has never heard of it. That doesn't mean anything. Has signed a five-year remarketing deal with Cox that will see 12,500 cars per year pass through Mannheim auctions. Okay. Yeah. That's a good deal. More cars through the lanes. That's... That's good news. The new deal extends an existing arrangement between the two firms. We'll see the independent group sell all remarketing stock from its four retail sites and its car buying service, isyourcaravailable.com. How many places will uh, buy your car? Wow, it's a lot now. Um, speaking of education, spring lineup for Lot Pop University. March 14th, Lot Pop University free workshop. There's one on April 11th. There's one on May 8th with Lot Pop and 20 groups. Talk to Ty. Look, he liked it. Of course he liked it. Ty loves this stuff. Ask Ty. Uh, if you're looking at this, you're dealing with an ATI podcast. Handle it with care. It's long, but it will inform you. Caution. You're going to learn something. It's ATI out of business. You know that. Call or text Ty. 417-483-2764. We are inside the AVC dealer app. Looking for more apps to get inside of on the App Store and Google Play to watch ATI. Hey, man. Friends. We got live care advice. Oh, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow with Brian Riker at noon. Join in. Um, you know, share. Grow. Uh, D-O-T, F-M-C-S-A, good times. Ask your questions. Thermonuclear Thursdays on Dispatching Live. You know what that's about. And then Fridays, we've had some really cool shows on Fridays. We have, uh, we're excited to share. Um, obviously, you know, Tuesday night, we have big hitters. But, man, Cars on the Move has been rocking this year. Buy Here, Pay Here with Ben and Bill. That was really interesting. Looking for more information. Yes, compliance is the word I was trying to get to. Did you see when Ty was live in Houston at Asset Resolutions with Corey and Brianna Cox learning more about uh, real repo, real recovery? Yeah, that was awesome. Friday we had remarketing with Holman. Okay, 1.9 million vehicles in the U.S. Yeah, that's just a little bit of a uh, little bit of capacity. Yeah, that's Holman. They do a lot. They're global. On the show. That was awesome. And then Friday, we have car hauling equipment. We're going to be live at Midwestern Car Carriers. Really excited about that. So please do join us. You can click. What you can do is go to the ATI YouTube homepage, and you'll see these show placeholders. You can click on that, and then you can set a reminder. Then you'll get the alert and uh, all that cool stuff. Ship Dock Cars is next Tuesday. Do you know about Ship Dock Cars technology? Do you want to meet the team? Do you want to see what LoadMate is? Do you want to ask questions? I know the answer. You're going to tune in Tuesday night for Ship Dock Cars LoadMate Pro Demo. That's going to be awesome. Um, we keep yapping about Car Conference. There's a reason we're going to keep yapping about it. We're going to tell you more tonight. I guess I shouldn't say it that way. It's just that we know that the trade shows... you know. 
<sighs> you know, right? I mean, I we we did we used to do that too. We didn't get it. That's why we are on a mission to help you see what we see. Grow your business. Break out of your vertical. Here's another good one. Auto Intel Summit. Man, do you want to have your mind blown? <laughs> Holy, Holy mackerel. Ty's going to be at Auto Intel Summit. We secured the press pass for that. Got the flight booked. Got the hotel going. And he's going to be there. We are now currently working on getting ahead to Digital Dealer. Uh, May 1st through 3rd in Tampa. And, um, yep, Ty was there a year ago. That exact, yeah, that's the same hotel, isn't it? Same, same place. It's the Car Shipping Business Channel. And we are talking about way more than transportation and logistics. That's what we do here. So it is now time. Here's what we're going to do. What do we got? Oh, uh, Ty. Wow, Ty is up next. And then it is going to be a Jay and Ty Fest. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> it's going to get crazy up in here. We made a list of stuff to talk about. We also, you're in the live chat. Help us out. Let's talk ecosystem, full automotive ecosystem. Everything's on the table. Ready, set, go. Ship.cars, intelligent car shipping made simple. An end-to-end -end vehicle delivery platform featuring AI damage inspection, search along route, and compliance documents. Manual inspection is time consuming and prone to human error. Save time and money with our AI damage inspection tool automatically detect, classify all damages, and send a full damage report. SAR, search along route feature. With a simple search, ship.cars helps carriers find available loads while on the road. Compliance documents automate the upload of important digital documents, saving time and reducing hassle. We're ship.cars, your transportation technology provider. Contact us today. AI damage inspection, search along route, digital compliance, document upload, ship.cars, intelligent car shipping tech is for dealers, auctions, and carriers. Visit ship.cars. Links in the live chat. Alrighty then. Thank you guys so much for saying hello in the live chat. Uh, the lot pop killer soon and th <laughs> Yeah. That's a great idea. We should tell Jason Rice. Make it a horror movie. Actually, Jason Rice could do that. It would be a horror movie about you're not getting the cars off your lot in time. You're being slashed. Ah, there's your slasher. You're being slashed by fees. By, um... Well, we'll talk about it. Let's let's do that. Jason Rice slasher flick. Um, what's the what's the uh, floor floor planning? Yeah, okay. All right, let's do this. All right, so Ty's still getting ready. He'll be ready here in one second. Just a second. We've got to we got to. We, hey, we need to move that dolly track over just another foot. I'm gonna need a uh, I'm gonna need a full apple box. Um, bring those five Ks in a little bit. Get the boom operator going. Did you guys, uh, did we get a slate? And are the marks on the floor where everybody's read? The juicers are uh, taking a break. Great. Makeup, hair, wardrobe, set. All right. Quiet on the set. Settle, people. All right, here we go. Marker. Speed. And... Action. <laughs> hey, hey buddy what's up man uh where you i can start you ready here's what's up you won't believe what i did today i didn't realize it until i was on my way back but i was in i started out in kansas city this morning right i got up around four probably left around five Ooh. drove to springdale arkansas for a reason okay this is, by the way, this is something I've never done before, ever. I've been to the auction. That's my favorite place to hang out. But what I'm about to tell you, I've never done. Okay. You ready for this, Jay? Ready. Okay. So I think it's okay to use names. <clears throat> but it, we, we get some pushback every now and then. Like oh, you guys man. don't know dealers. You don't know nothing, that kind of business. So uh, some of our friends that we've met at trade shows, conferences, I'll go, I'll be more specific, specific, sorry, Motway, 
Okay. Today, I drove from Kansas City to Springdale, Arkansas, to an auction called 71B to meet somebody from Motway. I've never taken a broker to an auction to show a broker what goes on at an auction. That happened today because of ATI. Did you pick up what I'm laying down there? Then it gets better. Hey, we'll just run down the street here and I'll show you some of my dealer buddies. Run down the street there to some of my dealer buddies, go in, end up doing a whole demo and get the dealer to sign up. That all happened today because of ATI. And we don't know dealers and we don't know what. What? That's cool. Yeah, that really happened today. Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? And that, hey, so what's the story? What are we talking about here? Whoa, Ty, what, you say you took a broker to an auction? Pay attention, kids. <laughs> what? Wow. All right, yeah, let's, uh, wow, I'm, I'm hitting all kinds of crazy buttons. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that is actually, that is, that is breaking news, is that. Never happened. And, and I, I'd really like to hear in the live chat, some of the feelings share your feelings does that does that bother you does that excite you do you want to know why right what can you is that a big deal that's yeah, a, that should I, be the question is that a big a, deal a what do you why are you so ramped up amped up yeah why are you so amped yeah. up ty there we go why is it a big deal there we go why is that a big deal yeah. put it in the live chat why is that a big deal Ah, you want to know why? Because this is public news. This is press release, right? What did, what did we know about Motway? What happened, say, three or four months ago? And then what happened, say, two or three months ago? You guys remember that? Anybody? What happened? Motway acquired a company called ADT. Remember that? Auction Direct yeah. Transport. They also got a deal with Edge Pipeline or Pipeline. Which What's is that? Parent company auction <laughs> edge, right? Yeah, parent take company. it away. What is edge pipeline? What is that? And what does that have to do with you and your truck and trailer? Oh yeah, no, that yeah, exactly. I just gotta go but yeah, equipment for sale, bad dispatchers, bad brokers. What okay, is better a three car Kaufman or a, yeah, a Chevy exactly. truck. Should I get a Chevy, Chevy, a Chevy. Ford, Chevy sucks, Ford we'll sucks. We'll talk about that Friday, by the way. I'm excited about that, Chris. I sent Carlos a message in the live chat. Did you see if he's going to make it, Carlos? Um, He said, yup. Yeah, oh, good. Was that, okay. Hey, Carlos, will you be able to join us? Okay, yeah, he's going to be there. It's oh, Chris, okay. Chris Chamberlain, too? Oh, yeah. Chris is one of the Chris main key ingredients. Then get this. We've got lore. Lore. Trailers. Wait, Trey? There's no lore. Is it Trey, Trey from lore? lore? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Trey from Lore is going to join us, and he's going to show us all the uh, cool Lore equipment. Which, by the way, I've seen it. I haven't ever got to load around. Anybody in the live chat loaded a Lore 9 car? I'm curious. I'm I've talked to a couple open. guys. I've talked to a couple guys, and they said that they have, and they like it. It's fine. It's great. So, we'll see. As I'm sure they're making... To, as opposed to... Go ahead, say it. As opposed to what? As opposed to uh, loading a... Oh, a Cottrell. Right, there yeah. we go, the Cottrell. Yeah. Right, because Cottrell... So Cottrell, who are the two big ma manufacturers? Cart Stinger, okay, we're talking Stinger. Yeah. So Stinger, we did it in the live chat, uh, or Ask Larry, right? And we decided that, in general, on average, a Stinger can transport nine vehicles. So if we can all just agree on that for one minute. So who makes nine-car Stingers? Peterbilt doesn't make them. Western Star doesn't make them. Kenworth doesn't make them. Freightliner doesn't make them. Who makes Stinger trailers, right? So here are the ones that I know of, and I'm sure there are more. But right now, today, there are pretty, pretty much two to choose from, maybe three. I'd have to do a little bit of homework. Somebody can probably tell me if uh, Boydston. I think Boydston is not making anything right now. So that leaves Cottrell. Cottrell's been in the market in the game for ever, right? And then the next one would be Lore. And I, I mean, I think that's it. I really do. Seems so maybe like three. there should be another. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Wally Mo. I think Wally Mo's Wally making Mo. a steer. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, Sun Country makes something that's kind of like a stinger, but not really. And I don't know that for sure. 
I know Sun Country makes some. Yeah, John's got he Boydston. So John is saying Boydston does make a stinger. They're still making them, though? Today? That's, John Larrick is saying that. John would know. Let's get yeah. verification. He would know. Let's get verification on that, John. Just yeah, if there's, a, a, if there's one I'm missing, let me know, too. But yeah, right exactly. Now, no, this is those, good. So the, those three, those three Boydston, Cottrell, and Lore, have been the three staples, in my opinion, for at least the last 20 years. And I think in that last 20, I think Boydston's had some on and off periods and they do some different things. Like they made this actuator, the screw trailer, they call it the screw trailer. I've actually ran one of those before. Those are wild. Boydston just makes a completely different product. It's amazing. Uh, amazing as in different. I'm not saying I'm a fan, but. Uh, so I've, I've had the Cottrell, I've messed with the Boydston, I've had several Boydstons and I've never had a lure. Lore. So point is, is I'm really excited to have Trey on. I, I got to meet Trey. Where did I meet Trey? Do you remember? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, get out of here. You met Trey at Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's where I met him when we were in Georgia and we did a show down there. And I, I got to speak at that Aha. Uh -huh. That's when I met Trey. Good guy. I really like Trey. Got a lot of energy. So we'll have Chris Chamberlain. We're going to be live at Midwestern Car Carriers in Kansas City, Missouri, in the shop. Randy right. Wells, Joe Bacari, you know Dude, those guys? That's awesome. We're going to be in their shop, probably going to have trucks flying around, trailers flying around, steel, all kinds. Of, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> flying around. Have, I'm sure Randy's happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, we're going to have Chris Chamberlain. He's going to be man on the scene somewhere. Carlos is but coming. But in the Zoom. So, Car are yeah. they coming? They're not coming in. No, 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 no. no not so, like Carlos that. on Zoom, Chris on Zoom, Zoom, but you'll be live at Midwestern with Joe and Randy. Yeah. And where's Trey's going to be on Zoom? Trey's on Zoom. I'm yeah. hoping he'll go to the so shop and It's a mix, a hybrid. It's kind of cool. It'll be neat. Yeah, and we're going to try, you and I are going to try our little experiment where we got two cameras running at the same time oh, for yeah. view. Yeah, that'll we're be gonna cool. We're going to give that a shot. That'll be See neat. if it works. That'll be cool. Yeah. That's this Friday. So that's Friday. I'm pretty this pumped Friday. about it. Is there anything? How about this? Can people say I want to be in the Zoom meeting? I don't care. Yeah, I keep thinking about ants. If Artie would join us, that'd be sweet. Hey, ants, you want to join us? Yeah. Artie? So if you want to join, if you want to join us and show us your truck and trailer, yeah, heck if you, yeah. If you want to join the Zoom, if you want to join the Zoom on Friday in the equipment show, yeah. That's at noon this Friday. Email Central me. time. Email me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Did I yeah. get that right? Autotransportintel. Yeah, e send me an email. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, so this show this show originally started with Carlos, because of Carlos. So, And I kind of yeah. feel bad a little bit. But we were talking one night. So I'm yeah, always the like, beer truck hey, story. Yeah, get the beer truck, right? <laughs> and everybody's like, what's the beer truck? What are you talking about? I'm like, Does it come with the beer? Gas station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's basically a single axle big truck it's got air brakes blah 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 so you can buy those things cheaper than you can buy a brand new you know one ton or 3500 4500 or 5500 you can buy them they do the job and they cost a lot less money and usually when you're done with them they still have some value it's not bad really so i always tell people go to truckpaper.com um go to trucks there's the medium duty class and just start cruising, you know, cruising around. So where you got to be careful, and this is where Chris comes in and Carlos comes in. So I'm always, yeah, get the beer truck. It's better. You can stop. You don't, you know, you're not feeling like the cars are going to consume your truck and your motor's not grinding away all day long with your transmission banging and all that happiness. Uh, but what apparently, and this is what I'm looking forward to, because Chris has done a lot of homework on this. Your gear ratio is real important. So Carlos was talking about he got the new truck, the beer truck, and his fuel mileage was bad. So we started talking back and forth. Randy's Randy's a total gearhead. Randy hopefully will be there joining us. We're going to have um, oh, the shop manager. I just went blank. I want to say Trinity? Trisha. Trinity. 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 Trinity's going to be there, yeah. So we're going to have Trinity. She runs the shop. Uh, hopefully Randy will stick. And maybe Joe will show up too. So that would be super cool. And yeah, that, Like you said earlier, Joe's going to be at the conference, car conference. Joe Bacari and John Larrick. Well, and, and that is awesome. And actually, I, you know what I did is I emailed Tom Ogrodowski this yeah, morning. Tom. to see He can't join on the 14th with John. Too uh, bad. He just, he can't. But, you know, Tom. I said, hey, man, put the word out. Come, 
Put Tom down the duck collar. Right. Tom with who? Tell everybody who's Tom. Brothers with. Auto Transport. Brothers Auto. So we Brothers got Auto Larry. Transport. We're making friends with the big guys is what's happening. That's well, what we're we've working We've been on. friends with them, actually. Well, maybe we're trying harder. Extend the olive branch one more time, you know, like that. <clears throat> no, it's good. No, it is. It's real. It, no, actually, honestly, and this is on my list of stuff that we can talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we may as well work. You know, I was sitting with John and Joe yesterday, okay? Uh, it's kind of after we got, actually, yeah, it was right after we finished our day. And um, I asked them what they thought about 17,000 car haulers. You're on courtesy mute. But, like, it, I think it's, like, one of the best questions ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. How, and, and <laughs> John was like, yeah, no, I don't think that could be right. Because <laughs> if you think about active, there's no way there's 17,000 active car haulers. And here, I know why you want to put that in your marketing material. You know, I'm smarter, I'm stronger, all that stuff, best in the universe. But it's, it's so, it, it sends the wrong message, which is we can get your car picked up morning, noon, and night because drivers are down the road from wherever you are dying to pick up your car bad start mm. which is why it's so funny that there was a dealer saying give me a broker yeah but it's all i mean this is one there's no one size fits all all right so we talked about that types of carriers wedge trailers full car haulers we moved on to insurance and claims boy that one got crazy really well, just here I, I, I here I, I summarized it with the incredible cost of the asset. Hmm, that's huge. The yeah, incredible that's big. cost. Of the, so, like, here was here was a question: How much is the truck note? Three hundred grand on a good day. Right. Could be four hundred. Mm, huh. Not quite. Three fifty should be tapped. I mean, if you get into four hundred, you're putting stuff on there that you don't need. In my opinion. All right, well, that's cool. So, all right, so what is the Chrome, least? There's a saying in trucking, Jay, Chrome don't get you home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's on Facebook. Well, it should be. Um, and then just the, oh, okay, the downtime and the maintenance. Okay, so like John was telling a story about, I think it was, what do you know what Eaton is? I don't want to bash a company. Eaton Transmission, yeah. Okay. Eaton Fuller Transmission, 18, 13. He, he had a not great story. I don't know about automatic, so if he's got an automatic, well, I have no idea about that. I think the problem was, if you go through, you know, there's somebody there's somebody somewhere that's like, well, we got to check each box before we, you know, it, did you check this? Did you check that? And, you know, five weeks later, we're still checking things. And mm. he was saying, you know, <laughs> five weeks. Oh, it was longer than that. I was being nice. On a $300,000 truck. I mean, the month he's, he's making monthly payments on a truck he can't use, mm. right? Five weeks. That's a whole month. He's there's so that's that's a driver without a truck. That is vehicles not getting moved. That is payments being made. I mean, it's it's out of control. But again, seventeen thousand car haulers. You know, that's what we're going to tell people. Am I right? Yeah. You know, I know that's different market segments, but it translates. I asked these guys about load boards. Yeah. They Do they even know what they are? They actually use load boards to fill empty spots. No way. I know. I was blown away. Well, we're going to have to have a serious talk because I've that been trying to... I don't think Joe get... does, but John does. I was going to say, yeah, Joe. Okay. Yeah. Never but, mind then. But I was going to come down hard well, on Joe. Now, hold on I mean, a second. Hard, like, Wait a what? second. How many heavy asset car haulers... Uh, oh, it was Joe's truck. Thanks, John. Um, how many heavy asset car haulers are using load boards and you didn't think they were? But, I mean, it's not a problem, but it's important to know this, right? Mm -hmm. And this is where, it, it, you know, I'm saying with the... Um, with the... Well, here's a good question. Sorry to interrupt you, but no, do they have do. the same trouble that you're talking about on Thursday? I mean... That would be a great deal. Is bring one not? of them in and see if they have the same drama that Sue has. I don't how, think they do. How do really they don't. not? I, 
Those Cause they're not picking boards, up at driveways in people's houses. If they're, they're picking something up, I guarantee it's at a well, dealer auction. They're probably doing it differently. They're probably calling and they're probably a little more picky about what yeah. they call on. And then they probably, I'll bet you the phone calls a lot different. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, it's, it's John. Don't F with me. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Is the car there? Do you have this or it? not? You know, yeah. And actually, people are like, hey, it's John. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, oh my God. Well, and everyone starts falling all over each other. But there's got to be times, and I'd love to know. You're right. Hey, John, are there times where you call in a car and they act stupid and you can't believe it? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. That's the, See, that's where you want to go because, see, this is the Thursday show is just, it's so crazy, right? And I don't, oh, I don't understand. I don't understand the crazy, but you shift over to the big boys, the big car haulers, you know, I just, yeah. you don't hear that stuff or that I know of. I mean, guys that have lanes, guys that have a client base. Let's, let's, let's preface like that. How's yeah. that's fair, right? Guys that, guys have, that lanes, have a lane, guys, guys that, that have, have clients. clients. Yes. Right. Are still using load boards to fill in spots, which isn't a surprise, but it is a surprise given how low a lot of the rates are and how crazy a lot of the folks posting loads are. I mean, yeah. it's just... But again, that ties enough. back to, see, a guy that owns his business, so let's take a Larrick or a Joe, right? The guy that owns his business, he understands the timing, and the timing is key. When you're talking nine car hauler and you've got new car contracts or you've got existing business, you, your time it becomes a real valuable commodity, right? Well, that's another reason why it's surprising, right? Exactly. Well, it is. But see, I've, Joe and I have had long conversations about this. And based on what I did when I had a lot of trucks, I, I think there's a huge opportunity. If you're coming back empty, let me know. I, I, let's talk. Well, I'm, not, right. I'm not saying I have the answer, but okay. so, let's, let's brainstorm. And John just put it in there. So then we talked about, well, do you make a phone call first or do you look at the load board first? <laughs> Everybody, this is the question. Do you make a phone call first, or do you look at the load board first? Now, I know in those Facebook groups which one's happening. Well, are you asking me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Is there a pass? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> well, you wouldn't even <laughs> until you met me. You, I don't even think you knew what load boards were. No. Mm -mm. And you built a company with twenty trucks, with no load board, <laughs> and moved fifteen hundred to two thousand cars a week within no. a two hundred fifty three hundred mile radius. All right. Here's a good question. Do you think you could do that today? Yeah, he'd take, I mean, you know, it's like uh, the guy yeah. in the live chat, uh, something dust, kicking up dust, that guy in yeah, Dallas with the dust, six yeah. car. Yeah. You know, he made a comment, he's, he's going back and he's saving his money. And, right. you know, this is one of the things I always say. It's like, all right, if you, if you want to start, just go ahead and save up a year's worth of money. Okay. That's, yeah, that is, that's what you always say. I've heard you. I've and the in reason. The and you're on the phone saying it. Yeah. Yeah, and and we're saying it because okay, what was the ten day pay thing you were talking about last Thursday? God, that's fascinating. Or okay, whatever. so we were talking to somebody about all ten right. day pay. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it down. We're talking to John Robertson to ship your car now, and he said, "Yeah, are you ready for this?" I and I actually I think he'd be cool, but with he said, "Well, he yeah, prefer, say it. It makes sense. He it does make sense. He made sense to me. He prefers carriers that can wait ten days to get paid." after delivery and you know what after the bol anyways you know why that is because he's looking for carriers that are going to be staying in business yeah which is a stability factor right i know yeah. this I, this guy's I, stable I, and i know that kind of hurts you know but what i know as a dispatcher is when i get a call i've worked for carriers that said listen anything you book i need cod cash and I know, oh, God, my yeah. life just got three times harder, not to mention I'm worried how long we're going to be in business. Yeah. 
and it's well, no fun right. for anybody. Well, and that, and I think that kind of slides into you know load board talk, owning your own know business harsh, talk. Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, the reality of it is, is, it and th- I think that's what this channel is about. Well, right? that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm here to tell you the truth. Here's what I know. I've been in not as long as John, not as long as Joe, but 22 years. I'm on 23 right now. Uh, you will need money and you will need a good credit score and you will need to understand what is a dealer? What is an auction? What is a load board? What do these people do? I mean, that's what we talk about all the time on this channel, right? The, there are parts of this business that you need to understand to succeed. If you're just here running around because you, you like load boards, that's fine. I mean, here's what really cripples my brain that really just, I'm like, okay. So you take a big company like Motway. Motway started with POV, personally owned vehicle, okay? They're, they so they started on this side and they're moving into auction dealer world. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, okay, the POV, stop right there. How does that work? I cannot wrap my brain around how these guys are just picking up ones, twos, maybe three at various locations, yeah. driving who knows where. Right? So uh, it's interesting, going back to when you were doing your business, I think POV has changed a lot. In the past twenty years, is my guess. Because How? It, I, I'm, I'm going to guess it's much more competitive. I'm going to guess there's many, there's more brokers, there's more companies thinking about POV as a profit center. I don't well, it, see that's guess, on the that's but, on the to me that's on the the broker slash sales guy side. The carrier, what I can't understand is how a big broker who has thousands and hundreds of thousands of cars, single units, people, yeah, yeah. that go from here to here, long, not, not just across town, okay, states. Yeah. And every day, every well, week, every month, I mean, every year, have... they get them moved. And well, I, they... I don't get it. Well, I, well I, I, that's a lot of work, that is. It's got to be. And John will tell you because he's got the snowbird lane too. And I mean... So there's different types of POV. But that's he's got recurrent. a lane. Yeah, that's, that's the yeah, difference. That's the lane. He has that, a lane. I agree. I mean, well, I go from here to here, snowbirds. But, I can that I can deal with that. Well, this right? is why this is why somebody wants to think there is seventeen thousand carriers because you don't even need a lane at that point. You've got just a web <laughs> of whatever, you know, and that's well, called if we the could just board. Uberize tra- if we could Uberize transportation, Jay, right? Yeah, I've been thinking about <laughs> I, mean, I use the Uber app. Transportation. I'm, I'm looking at that app and I'm thinking, who in their right mind thinks that you could make auto transport look like that? Here's the problem. Well, I just read an article where the the future Ford is going to repo itself. Yeah, so I saw everything that. Everything is possible. That was crazy. I, yeah. it's gonna, it is going to happen. It's just that when it does happen... I don't think the word Uber is going to need to be used. True. And here's the problem too. How do but you if you can do that, then well, why don't you just have the car drive itself to the customer? Well, why not? I'm telling you, I don't think we're going to like the answer. I really don't. And, and did you know, like I read, okay, so here on the other side of the coin, another autonomous company went belly up. Right, and all the and all the truckers say do 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 do. But it's going. I mean, something's going to happen. I yeah. don't know how or what or where or why, but well, I think I know why. Well, but the POV. Getting back to the POV for a second is just that. I think the POV business has changed. I don't think it was. It, it, I don't think it is what it once was. But Montway has built up such a presence on the search engines, which we don't even know what those look like in five years. No, but it, what I'm saying is, is I, based on, say, the last five years, hanging out with ATI and Jay and learning this, this whole other world that I knew nothing about, okay? Right, right. All right. And you did the same for, for me with dealers and auctions and stuff. So we traded yeah. information. Which We're is trading. really, sh- that's what this is all about, <laughs> trading information. <laughs> We're trading information. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking because they've been doing it way before I ever learned what it was. 
I, did, I had no idea. I've been in Holland Cars for a long time. No idea that this world existed. And so today I look at, one of the things I look at ATI is, is, is like this cautionary before you decide to cross this line. Have you watched ATI? At least two or three shows, I, right? And you know the answer on Facebook is no. Okay, fair. But as you, as you, as you go into this and you haven't watched it and you did happen to catch the, I make $10,000 a week with my one ton and my dog. Right. If you happen to watch that and you're coming in with this expectation that that's what's going to happen in your life, I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm really not. I'm, I, I will well, say yeah. it doesn't happen consistently no. for darn sure. No. Nobody's making – and we know that as well. Here's what's interesting. Speaking of, you know, dispatchers and, I mean, they get bashed on Facebook all the time. And yet people – this is the funny part. I keep seeing, hey, I'm a dispatcher. Anybody need a dispatcher? And then every other post is – Man, I hate dispatchers. <laughs> well, then the next post the next day is, hey, anybody know where I can find a good dispatcher? It, right. And, and that's for real. But <clears throat> Sue, a dispatcher, is so good, she can get, I'm not, it's not a guarantee, and I don't know if it's every week, but she can get her carriers 10,000 X gross. Of course, now there's a percentage of that is going to go to Sue and dispatching. So you're not, here's the, even if you gross 10 grand, what did you take home? Well, and this is, this goes to, okay, so I always, two questions. Can you live 12 months without a check right. starting now? Because that guy's not going to pay you in 10 days, maybe 30. And right? Artie, I just want to say this, Artie says, if you save money for a year, you'll never start. Which I will personally say this is part of the quandary of trying to understand, you know, where you're coming from. But I know why you're saying it. Why do, why do you say you need to save money for a year? Or, you know, what, what you say. Why do you say that? And what I'm saying, I'll make it even yeah. worse for you, Artie, is I'm saying you need to have whatever you're currently living on, 50000 100000 whatever that number is, have that number in your savings account before you start, Right. And that it, it does sound harsh and it's crazy and you know you won't, but I'm telling you, I've got I've got a list of for sure two people that I've talked to out of hundreds that actually did that. Call me back later. We're very thankful, very happy, and they're going at it and they're still in business. They're still trucking, right? So the point is for your personal sake because here's what happens. Hey Ty, I won't, I won't just got a minute, Ty. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, look, here's my truck payment. I'm and and this is good, right? We got to know what our expenses are, our fixed expenses. We kind of fudge on the variable expenses, but we got to know what our expenses are. So here's the phone call. Ty, I want to start a car, a car hauling company. Uh, help me out. Make sure I got this right. Here's my truck and here's my monthly payment. Here's my trailer. Here's my monthly payment. Here's my insurance. Here's my monthly payment. Here's my fuel variable. Okay. Blah, blah. It keeps going. Those are all my expenses. Did I miss anything? No, it looks pretty good. Oh, wait. I forgot. You did miss one. Oh, what's that? How much money do you want to make this year? We forgot to put you in there. <laughs> Which, I mean, right, exactly. That's when right. we're figuring what it's going to cost us to start and run a, to a transport company, the number one thing that we have to put at the very top line is you, right? You're going to have to pay the car payment, the house payment, the electric bill, the cell phone bill, the kids' school, the haircuts, the whatever it is you got to pay. You can't just come into this thing. Here's my base. I don't, you know, I'm here not to make any money, because what happens in real life on Thursday is, is I think some people have figured out that you forgot that part, and so they just give you 32 cents a mile, or 28. What? Well, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's right. Now you're working against what you need. Not to mention, I think one of the problems is one of the draws is 10,000 a week with your truck and trailer. Come on in. The water's fine. And somebody mm. new is thinking, all right, cool, yeah, because that I can pay off this bill, that that bill, well, okay, but that leaves no money left for everything else you need money for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and like you say, okay, if you do make ten grand, and I'm not saying you can't, but I don't know that you do it every week. And when, when I say, okay, I'm talking even a five-car, five-car maybe, but three-car, mm, that's you're running. I don't even know if you can do it legally, but maybe you can. So whatever. Or if you do team, which that whole thing I don't even understand. But so uh, you're you're going along. You said it just a second ago. Well, what do you have at the end of that? 
right? Yeah, now you uh, got a whole mountain. Forgot of... the fact that you lost that wheel on the trailer. Right. <laughs> and that's and that's another thing. It seems like the random weird maintenance problems happen. Oh, in the beginning, every, guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah, new, even brand new equipment. Right. Or now you're taking a photo and you're it sharing happens. it on Facebook, and you, and it's a picture of your wheel, and you're like, anybody know how this happened? And you know what Facebook says? <laughs> no, it's not good. Don't put that on Facebook. Don't put it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, that's in my in my mind i still haven't quite figured and i don't need to know but it just is really odd to me that a, a company that is just what i call shotgun approach right i've got single units povs literally scattered all over the entire united states and they get them moved they've been doing it for a long time and they are actually pretty good at it so i don't know how that works i don't know how it happens what? and hopefully I'll... someday they can tell me all right well here's another thing because you find this out when you talk to anybody that brokers, and then it goes mm -hmm. for carriers, which is why we made a show, can the carrier be the broker? The answer is yes. It's not for everybody, but add sales, marketing, business development, and some other things, and you are on your way. And a license. Um, by the way, John Lurick was telling me that Central Dispatch actually cares. If you're a carrier and you don't have a broker's license, they check on that. Can't wait to tell. They Sue. don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said they did. I'm telling well, I'm you. I'm not saying. I'm not saying John's lying. What I'm saying is, is how many? I've watched Thursday. Thursday's my favorite show, by the way. Anybody want to know what Crazy. Ty's favorite show is on Thursday? It's Thursday, Dispatching Live. Uh, but Sue's on there all the time, mad because the carriers posting loads. Well, that's so a, they don't vet it. If, uh, they, if they ask so, for it, fine, but they're not well, vetting it. They got 17,000 carriers to go through. <laughs> yeah. ADT has 15,000. Like they're calling they're calling the more hi. Yeah, we're calling this is is this Billy Bob's? Oh, this mm. is a morgue. Oh. Yeah. Is he there? <laughs> He's not. He's not available. But he is no. there. Is he brokering? <laughs> <laughs> well, Okay. Brokering so, from beyond. One thing I wanted to just mention real quick, a uh, little off to, off subject, but I was thinking on t after today, what happened today, we, I'm still blown away by it, by the way. I mean, that that's really crazy. Uh, to go take a broker to an auction, which, by the way, I hadn't been to this auction in probably seven or more years. I walk in, Brian Hunt, he's the guy that owns J.B. Hunt. Have you heard of J.B. Hunt? Oh, yeah. J.B. Hunt oh. Trucking. So Brian Hunt owns 71B Auto Auction, Springdale, Arkansas. I walk in. I got my broker friend. We're going in. He sees me coming. I haven't seen I haven't seen this guy forever, and I never talked. He stops where he's doing, comes over. Ty, what are you doing? Where have you been? Brian Hunt, right? And I mean, that's really cool. Okay, then wow. I go, I'm, and I haven't been there for a while. Here comes the general manager of the auction. Ty, dude, where have you been? Oh, oh. You bring some trucks. You got trucks out now. Then the, then the dealers start piling in. Here comes the Ty. Where you been? You got any trucks? No. Wow. Okay. Point is, is uh, I got to thinking about this. This is this is the equivalent of Candy, Candy Mar Seaport Services. Candy Mar. I'm going to give her the first the Gold Star Award, right? What do I mean? Candy, I believe, was our first live on location at your business. Oh wow. Is that right? Yeah, probably. You're talking about... Port, party at the Port. Party at the Port. I don't remember before Candy going to anybody's actual business and doing like a whole show on a Friday. Have, but, I, you know, I'm not sure. Well, so anyway, we'll just go with that for now. Candy, Seaport Services. <clears throat> twice, actually, I think. Yeah, twice. Okay. Uh, PAL, Pre-Owned Auto Logistics. Okay. Right. Broker. Asset yep. Resolutions. Repo. Repo. Yeah. So look, look, this is crazy. Follow this, right? Port. Broker. Repo. Today wasn't live, but broker auction. Right. Is that, I mean, are you following? Some of the things, I mean, it's like, where else are you going to find this stuff? These, these guys are crazy, and they're actually going and showing people this is how we do it. This wow. is how it works. I mean, yeah. the broker's asking questions like, okay, what about a gate pass? I'm like, easy, here, let's literally. Mm. 
walk over here. See these people? Yeah. They tell them you need a gate pass. So print it. They'll either give it to you. Or let's, let's go to the guard shack. Let me show you the guard shack. This is where the real action's at, right? So the whole time I'm doing this, I'm thinking, this person definitely knows what the auction is. Been to an auction maybe once in their life. But I'm, I started thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. How many brokers have actually gone to an auction from the start of the auction to the end of the auction? What if you could give auction tours <laughs> and then dealer tours? Yeah, dealer and then transport parking lot tours. Right. Oh my gosh. But that's, that's what's so, so cars crazy on the about. move too. That's you, man. Oh, it is. Well, you've got okay. This all starts with the new car. Car is born. We talk about the life of a car a lot here at ATI. And so it's a new car. As soon as somebody decides they buy it, and as soon as it goes out of that parking lot, it's automatically a used car now. Did you know that? <laughs> Dude, that part <laughs> sucks actually. <laughs> So now you've got used cars. So used cars, you can do a couple of things with it. You can drive them. You can not make your payment, and it can get repoed. That's the finance company. These are the consigners that Jay and I were talking about. We talk about consigners. Consigners can be financial institutions, big companies with big money that lend money for people to have cars for 84 or months. At fleet management companies with auto remarketers. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's rental, fleet. Oh, my gosh. Right. So when I'm, so when I, wow. people are always like, well, I want to haul cars. I'm like, okay, do you know what a dealer is? Do you know what a dealer does? No. Well, real quick, here's what a dealer does. A dealer buys cars. They know cars what a dealer and... is. They just don't want to know anymore. That's it. Okay. Or when they talk to a dealer. And I see this too, man, because I want to tackle this one. Okay. Not right now. I mean, I want ATI to tackle this. I've seen it in the live chat. Yeah. I talked to the dealer. Won't come up, come, won't come up on the money, being cheap, all this stuff. True. I'm back uh, to where yeah. I was. I hate the dealer. Go. Yeah. Well, and that's fair because I learned something today from a broker friend, which, by the way, was Mary. Mary Bartlett, I believe. Right. Mary at Motway, yes. Mary at Motway Bartlett. I, she wanted to see the auction. We've been talking about it for over a month. Uh, well, it's probably since NADA in Dallas. I think that's when the conversation started. So I was like, yeah, I'll take you anytime you want to go. And remember, they have pipeline, edge pipeline. Edge pipe okay, so by, before we move on, yeah. edge pipeline, what is, in, is your understanding of what is edge pipeline? Well, it's a auction management. So it manages the auction and it allows you to do online auction. So I think it's a software where dealers acquire inventory or and manage their inventory as it's being bought and sold at the auction. But this is good. See, here's the thing. We're not 100%, but we are paying attention and learning. And that's, I mean, that's helpful. There's so well, much to learn. Take it away. So here's what I can say that I saw and know for sure. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, I saw it in this demo today. <laughs> oh, good. There you go. I haven't seen a demo. Which, by the way, I haven't seen this dealer for oh, probably 10 years, and I come whipping in there like, ah, ta. You're like, ta. <laughs> you got the Arkansas. I love these people. Uh, Buy right. Uh, Rogers, Arkansas. Great people. Ryan the son. Ryan's running the show. Mom and dad are there having fun, loving life. This, this kid, Ryan, he's a kid, 23, 25, went to college. Got all A's and B's, wants to be his mom and dad's car lot and do cars. So he's bringing a new approach. Well, as we're talking, this guy, oh, man, this is why I say talk car dealers, right. right? Right. Okay, so even if you can't get that car moved, talk to him anyways, right? Ah, uh, Boy, guess what you find out. Okay, that's right. They don't go to auctions anymore. Oh, they read. haven't since 2020. They don't go to auctions. I they talked stopped. to a guy. They, I saw the same thing. He was online. sitting at his desk with a bunch of screens. One of them was actually a central dispatch. Yeah. And I was like. I mean, and, and I'm shocked by that. Okay, this is a small yeah. family business. I mean, 20 cars maybe on the lot, right? And they, uh, when I did this, we, we would go to the auction together. We would hang out together. We'd load the truck together, whatever it takes, bring the cars to them. I mean, that kind of a relationship. Well, the son comes in. He's smart. He's doing a good job. He's figured something out. It's working for him, but he's got a couple little problems. So this demo, I'm not really paying attention. It's not my thing, but I'm just kind of watching it right over here. Uh, 
One of his problems is gate passes. This this software that uh, Motway has right. somehow is connected, so, and he can push a button, and the gate pass goes, and you got it. Here's what I want to point out: is that Motway doesn't build Edge Pipeline. No, no, no. They no. partnered with a software where they saw yeah. an opportunity to yeah. plug in their car shipping yeah. technology and move more cars and get more <clears> business <throat> that they they would need more carriers to help deliver and facilitate. Yeah. So the challenge, and, and this is a great topic because I, th I think you're going to maybe, and I could be wrong, but if I saw it with my own two eyes and I was there today and I had a broker at an auction sniffing around trying to figure out what, what goes on at an auction, Ty, you show me, okay. Is that an indicator that you're going to start seeing more brokers doing your job, carrier, at the auction? Because what do I always say? I always say, pick two or three auctions, be the first guy there and the last guy to leave, right? And John Laird can back me up on that. John's an auction guy. Well, who's right? sniffing around at the trade show? <laughs> Not the carrier. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that's the thing. So, I mean, the car that's a how many brokers are already at the auction sniffing around? I actually don't know the answer. Well, I don't either, but I do know. So this this is where this is where knowing this industry is really crazy, right? Because I can go get all the business I want at a dealer, and never touch an auction. Okay, that's sales. That's broker. They go talk to the dealer. They've got their script. I don't know what their script is, but I guess I'm going to guess it's something like this: How many cars do you sell online, and where do they go? How many cars do you buy online, and where do they come from? Did you follow me? Say it again. Okay, how many cars do you sell online, and where do they go? How many cars do you buy online, and where did they come from? Got it? So, and you when think you there's talk, a pattern there? I'm asking the questions. Is it random, or is there a pattern? There's got to be a pattern, because it's you're you're doing market research, right? Can I help this guy? Does this guy fit in my business model? Do I fit in his business model? If I'm a broker and I've got 17,000 trucks, every dealer falls in my my market, my, my strategy. And right? by the way, let's say a lot of this is like really new and strange. What do a lot what do a lot of companies today that are growing? their businesses and employee base and staff and connect work connections what do they do do they learn from scratch or find a way to hire somebody that already knows that stuff you're on courtesy mute my bad okay. i think they hire somebody that's familiar like for okay, so it's so wild, questions. and that's where we see like wow, lots of people are moving around all the time. Yeah, so as as I'm watching, I guess here's what I'm saying. If, and I'm saying this as nice as I can, right? If if you own a truck and a trailer, you're the owner operator. It's your business, and you you just talking to people is not your thing. You what back up? That's that's what's crazy. Clarification. Transport guys will talk to anybody and can talk to anybody. They do, right? Get on the CB radio, go to the truck shop, go to the wherever. Those guys can talk and they get along with people. There's no insinuation here that the, the transport guy, owner operator guy, is incapable of talking to people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm That's saying right. is, That's is good point. talking. Oh, yeah. Some either. of the, I just some mean of the that best guys. It's missed a lot. The opportunity gets missed, but it's not that they can't. Right. So what yeah. is it? Is it a lack of knowledge? Is it insecurity? What, you know, okay. Right, well, let's I talk care. about it. Right, let's pause right here. What is it? What is the problem? I think, and I think part of it is that no extra time, right? Well, Spend two hours trying to get the wheel one inch further up on the trail. <laughs> right? Gunner. Thanks, Gunner. I, I mean, see you've that. Been there. You've been there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, there's I no have. time. Well, I don't know. Or there is, is. and that, that's and to me, that's 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 what that's where the year's worth of savings comes in, 
Okay, I want to build a business. I want my own customers. Okay, if you, if if that's what you say, then let's start talking about what do dealers do? What do dealers think about? What's important to a dealer? And then let's talk about auctions. Let's try to find out where these guys get their cars. What I'm trying to say is, is that th I think it's a lack of understanding and knowledge combined. Right? I mean, here's the thing. I've been doing this 22 years. I learned something new today. And here's the other thing. Mary told me this. She's like, yeah, we go into these dealer groups. Okay, you hear the word dealer groups. That's more than one store. That's more than a Ford store. That's more than a Chevy store. That's I own a Ford store, Chevy store, a Toyota store, and a Honda store, and I'm getting ready to buy a Nissan store, and I've got six more in four other states. That's that's a group. Okay. Right. So when you're driving down the road and you see Bob's Honda, that's probably Bob's Honda. When you're driving down the road and you see Lee Summit Honda, that's probably group. Just a little tip trick, right? And just uh, yeah. pay attention to the name on the door. When you're driving down the road, pay attention to that. Usually, and sometimes it even gets more tricky. It might still say Bob's, but they just kept it Bob's because Bob's been there forever. And it might be owned by a group. Why, is, why Ty, are you talking about this? Really? Well, because here's what happens. And this is real. These conferences that Jay and I was yapping about, okay, the dealer group guys go there and they start making deals with technology companies, with broker companies, and they start setting, here's the new policy, here's the standard operating procedure. This is how we do it now. And what? You've got 15 stores with 15 different people in 15 different cities and you think it's all going to work perfect like this? Like you guys talked about at the conference while you're drinking beer? That's you, this is going to work now. No. And that's where people just like, and it blows my mind. That's why we talk about the dumpster fire. Yeah. Yeah. That is that's a dumpster one of the fire. Things, one of the reasons. Because, and I've had this happen to me and I bet everybody watching has had this happen. I've got a relationship with the buyer. The buyer and I meet at the same auction every week and we have the same cup of coffee and we talk about the same things. And we've been doing this for five, 10, 15 years. He comes to me one day, we're hanging out, we're having coffee. He's like, hey, I got to tell you something. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Well, you know how after I'm done at the sale and I just give you all my gate passes and you just take them home like we have been doing for the last five years? Yeah, I like it. It works good. Well, we can't do that anymore. What? What do you mean you can't do that anymore? Well, we can't do that anymore because uh, corporate says from now on, I got to give my gate passes. I got to send. They've got to have the information. They have to load it in. They've got to put it on their on their load board, and then they've got to figure out who's going to give them the best rate. I'm like, are you serious? Did that really just come out of your mouth? He said, yeah, they're just, you're, we're paying too much. We're spending too much in transportation. Oh, you are? Well, how fast are you getting your cars? Have you guys factored that in? I might be charging you more, but have you forgot something here? You have your cars the next day. Yeah, I know, but corporate said we got to do it this way, Ty. I'm sorry. Okay, what I'm telling you guys is, if you talk to a car dealer, if you don't want to, let's if you don't want to talk to a car dealer, I don't, I don't want to mess with that. You guys, what all the stuff taught you talk too fast and you get excited. It's like a rubber ball in a concrete room. I don't understand a word you're saying. Okay, fine. I'm spending time with brokers. What is that? Two this week? Well, I don't know. Two brokers. I think, it was two, I think I've been with two brokers this week. Why am I hanging out with brokers? Because <laughs> they're not my friends, right? I go get my own customers. Why am I hanging out with them? I'm well, hanging out with them for you. Well, they're working with the clients. And that's what it comes down to, again, is you are trying to help folks build businesses and work with clients to serve clients, right? Yeah, right. And whoever that's going to be, broker, carrier, there tech you go. company, whoever's going to work with the client, that's who you're going to want to talk to. Hold on a second. Can you still hear me? I can still I can I can hear you. I can see you. And the live chat, the live chat. I think we're this can you see me hear me? Yeah, something popped up on the notification. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but All anyway, right. where I'm yeah. where I'm going, let's let me wrap this part up the whole okay. broker thing. Here's yeah, here's right. the passion. The passion is is that I understand it's a challenge. I understand this business, just driving the truck, loading the truck, unloading the truck is a challenge, especially when the truck's about to fall off and the ramps fell out, right? Like the video you showed us, I get it. 
So here's, here's part of my objective. Here's what I'm thinking. If I can trust, if I know I got to spend time with these people, I got to hang out with them, I got to hear what they're happy about and what they're not happy about. What do they know? What do they not know? It gives me a little more confidence that when I have somebody call and say, I want to be a car hauler, I can say, okay, where do you live? What do you do? And I'm going to connect you with that broker and that broker and that broker. I know them. I've talked to them. Here's what you do. You tell them where you live and where you want to go. Do you know where you want to go? I just want to make money. Okay. From based on from where you live, here's as far as you should probably go unless you're making this much money. And these people say they need good carriers. We need good carriers. Do you know what part of good carriers is? Part of good carriers is, is are you financially sound? Are you financially stable? Right? You're going to need a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. So, I'm hanging out with brokers. I'm seeing a shift that I've never seen in my life. I'm not saying it doesn't exist because we all see brokers post loads on central dispatch that are to be picked up at an auction. Did you hear that? You want me to say that again? We all see brokers post loads on central dispatch of cars, vehicles that are to be picked up at an auction. And they weren't at that auction. How did that happen? Okay. So the broker doesn't necessarily have to be parked at the auction, but the broker has the relationships with the dealers. So if we're not going to go get the relationship with the dealer and the auction, and we're not going to go hang out at the auction, we're not going to go take donuts to the dealer, that's fine. I'm not mad. Here's some brokers. Here's a list of brokers. And they say they need good carriers. So now we got to start talking about what's a good carrier. And... That's also, so as we get to know, we've gotten to know more companies through this channel. And every time we get to know a company, whether you see them running a video ad or you see them on the show, is that we are getting to know companies better and bringing them some of your important information to them. You know, some of the conversations we have, we've said, hey, listen, you... I don't think you want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you this so you don't hear it the hard way. <laughs> right? Which you don't is, want to be on Thursday's just Yeah, you don't. Do, <laughs> that is. That's, <laughs> like, I got to make you don't the want warning. To be that guy. I got to make the warning. <laughs> you do not want to end up on Dispatching Live. You no, don't. No. You don't. Don't and, go there. Because the, the companies that show up on Dispatching Live are. And here's the thing. There are companies we talk to and talk about that have unfortunately ended up at times on Dispatching Live. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's the hard stuff. And we're, so yeah. here's here's something I learned today that I did I did think well actually with the two meetings we had this week, I learned some interesting things. Again, that's that's what's so fun about this business. You you don't stop learning. Um, the first one was uh, we got to talking about rates, right? Do you remember that? Oh, let me start with the second one. Today, the second one was, is, man, these dealers will beat you down on rates. Yeah. They will beat you down. I'm like, yeah, it's car dealer. That's what they do. What do you think? This is retail that's moving one car from for their kid for college? It's a different world. We're talking volume. Well, we're talking mass. These guys want deals. You know, right? I, just, I just want to jump in and say this is that here's, I think this is the bad news. Everybody that brokers loads over time learns they can drop that rate a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Which is why mm-hmm. be the broker. <laughs> be the broker. Be the broker, man. <laughs> well, but it was interesting to hear that brokers run into the same thing that I run into. It's confirmation bias. They the dealer is going to do his think about it. He's not being mean. He's not being greedy. He's not being a jerk. Some of them are, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, think what does this guy do all day? He negotiates. He negotiates to buy a car. Now I'll give you five grand for it. Now I want ten. Now I'll give you six. No, I want ten. Okay, well I'll give you seven. That's it. I'm done. There's to buy the car. To sell the car. I'm asking thirty grand for the car. Well, I'll give you twenty. It's negotiate, just nonstop. And that's what we talk. That's why I talk about dealers all the time is because the more you know them, the more you understand. And what you can do, and I say this all the time, is you can go in and get the 
maybe not the preferred rate that you're looking for, but there's this there's this test period, right? Are you are you good at what you do? Can I count on you? Let's try to let's do two loads. I'll give you two loads. Paying paying your dues, right? Paying your dues. This is an time. American thing. Everybody's into oh, paying their dues, right? Especially with car dealers. Yeah. For real. So um those are just some of the things that I'm seeing, and I, I don't, I'm not definitely not concerned about it. It's obviously, like I said a minute ago, dealers and brokers have been doing business together forever without going to an auction. I get it, but there, there may be a shift. There could be. I mean, I saw it today, so maybe they start showing up at the auction and just taking gate passes like candy bars. Here's uh. Since we had some, we had some items. I got a few more items. I think I, I want to make sure we talk about because I hear you on the phone. It, it, I want it camera one. I want to let everybody know if you don't already know this. Like Ty is always taking phone calls. Like people call him constantly, and um, uh, you are so patient. Like I'd be losing my mind. So. Thank you for taking those yeah. calls. I know the calls are important. I'm just not built for that. Mm, right? It's rough. I grind away on the media side. You, yeah, I need to do that so whole. Like, I could do it. I never do you that. You don't want Dude. this job. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, right. Jay. Yeah, you thanks, keep doing man. that. And it's cool. So there's the double helix. So, it, yeah. it like, I heard you on the phone the other day again. And I, I think I asked you the question. Okay, so... Ty, when people call you, how are they doing and what do they want? Mm. Usually, it, it, that's a good question. How are they doing? The how are they doing part. So I'm, I overanalyze everything for some reason. I've done it my whole life. So I, I can only hear a voice, right? So some of the things I listen for are urgency, a sense of urgency. If I hear somebody's talking pretty fast and they're wanting something like, right, give, just give me the answer, I know that I got to be real careful with that, you know? Sometimes I just give them the answer knowing that that's going to be a train wreck. But I also can understand they're probably not geared or built for listening. So uh, as a whole, general, right, let's try to make this general, average, uh, inquisitive, curious. I, I want to know. I watched, your, I watched the video, you guys, ATI, and uh, I like what you're saying. I want to learn more. Okay. That's cool. And I, I, like I think that. where it starts kind of falling off. So the question was, how, where, how are they doing? Right. What was yeah, the question? How, yeah. Th how are they doing and what do they want? What, do, what are they usually looking for? Yeah. Most of it, it, it goes through seasons, which is funny, but like, I'll go through a season where I'm like, man, this is great. This guy's got money. He's paying attention and he really wants to learn. And he kind of knows some of the stuff I'm already talking about. Then you go through these other seasons where you just got the guy who's literally, he watched some, he, some, he talked to somebody and they, he knows he has a truck, but, but he just needs to know which trailer he's going to, cause he's going to go make 10 grand, right? Maybe 12. And right. that's where Those I'm are like, the hard calls. Like, For me, they're really hard. Yeah, really hard. Yeah. Because, you, I mean, they're genuine, sincere people that really want to get into this business and really did talk to somebody and really did hear those numbers and really, you know, they're they're good people. And I'm like, man, just tell me more, right? Just, so I, a lot of times I sit there and listen and ask simple little questions. So what does that look like? In your head, what does that look like? Well, I don't know. Okay. I can explain it. That is so funny. <laughs> That's how I talk to people when they come up with an idea for a show. I'm like, yeah. all right, walk me through. Show me what that is. You know, well, the yeah. dolly shot, and then there's De Niro, and we pull out. and Yeah. How does that? You yeah, have the De Niro fade, on your the, payroll? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that's the thing. What? Yeah, walk me through what you think this is. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, and you said, I steal this from you all the time. Where'd you get that idea? <laughs> I know. It's, and it, well, well, you know what's weird about that question? About that. And now I ask it more and more. Yeah. Because you can quickly get there. Yeah, yeah, and you can. It kind of cuts through a lot of the And I'm, I'm stuff. really, in fact, when I ask it, I'm worried. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you never want to hear me say that. That, that definitely needs to be a T-shirt. Where'd, Where'd you get, you get that, that idea? 
<laughs> it does. Kimberly has been wanting to know what we need to make t-shirts that's, of. Where that's did you the one. get that idea? Where did you get that idea? Yeah. ATI. Not ATI. Oh, that is so <laughs> funny. Yeah, not ATI. All right. Well, then, okay, that brings me to the next thing, which was, all right, what do, you, what do carriers care about? What do drivers, owners, um, what do they care I th- about? I think it's more about money. And I, that's, yeah. that's kind of well, it's, harsh. It's a business. Really? But- yeah. Yeah, but I I think it which is why this, that begins that's why they steer down the wrong road of getting the wrong information quickly, right? Right. Like you can ask a guy, I bet I bet if you put John Lyric in the corner and you said, "John, when you started this business, uh was your motive to make money?" He might say, "Yeah." But I got a feeling like guys that have been in this for a long time and really get it, it originally started from I want to help. I want to serve. That's that's my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but I was thinking today about like how did I start? Why did I start hauling cars? I didn't make any money. That first year I lost 15 grand with my 1 ton and 3 car, my brand new F350, right? And my 3 car feather I definitely didn't make any money my first year doing this YouTube channel. <laughs> so, I'm not sure I'm we're making like, any money now. I'm trying to figure out how you start a business and make money your first year. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying this is crazy, right? I mean, to like uh, breathing air sitting in a chair, right? I'm going to sit down in the chair. I'm, I believe it's going to hold me. I'm, there's no doubt. Well, these people somehow have in their mind that they just decided to get the truck and the trailer and they're going to sit down in the chair and it's going to work. And and I, I'm not that's, – that's not a blanket statement. I'm not being mean. I'm just saying – the over what you back to your question right i'm what i'm saying is is i think it's money and i think that's nothing wrong with that we all want to make money of course that's what we should be doing that's right but i just need you to understand that this is a service business and there are really a lot of people that don't give a crap about what you're doing right they just i want my car and that's real harsh that's a that's coming from a guy who has a big rolodex of his own clients they don't. They don't want to hear what happened when I why I'm late. They don't. They just want the car, right? If they really, really want to know, they'll ask. But there's no reason for me to talk about it. I'm sorry, I'm late. Well, I'll do better next time. So this brought me to the next thing where I said to John and Joe, if there's seventeen thousand guys that want to be their own, own their own business. And they're all scrambling and fighting over the load board. Can't you scoop up some of them to fill the driver shortage problem? How come these two worlds never communicate? Well, that kicking up dust in the live chat, new guy that showed up, he's he went back to company driver. And I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, there's plenty of guys I talk to. Where I'm like, you know, I know a lot of guys that are looking for drivers. If you want to go drive for a year, make some money, learn to learn some a of the roads. A lot of people don't want to do that, right? No, no. Why? No. And it goes both ways. Why don't? Why doesn't the owner operator want to be a company driver? And why don't some of those companies consider them viable candidates? Well, there, there's the whole, geez, we could probably talk about that for hours. But, I mean, the first one that pops into my mind is, and there is a stigma to guys that own their own business or have owned their own business. They may not be the best employee because they're too wild. They own, you know what I mean? They, they have, they're so used to telling everybody, my ETA is my ETA, that when you go work for somebody, it's not your ETA is your ETA anymore. And it's probably not a good idea to say my ETA is my ETA. <laughs> I, can't I, I can't believe I found that on Facebook. I, you know what? We got to get that on the Academy yeah. slides. Yeah, we my definitely, yeah. ETA slide. Yeah, that is incredible. I am so thankful for the gentleman that shared that on Facebook. <laughs> so awesome. That's a t-shirt too. That is a t-shirt. <laughs> definitely. My that ETA is, is my ETA. T-shirt. I love that t-shirt. Oh, my gosh. Um, let's see. We're coming up on 9 o'clock, so I know we're going to run out of time. Hey, why don't you talk talk about your two-car rollback theory? That was interesting. Yeah. Well, um, so a lot of guys are like, hey, I want to start 
It's actually, I think, I, I think when you and I were talking about, it, somebody had asked me, and they're like, "What would you do if you were going to start over? Where would, what would you do?" I said, "Well, it depends on where you live. But if I lived in a big metro area, like big, I would definitely consider a two-car rollback to start with. I know that sounds crazy, but <clears throat> you can start working relationships with car dealers. You can tow. You can. I wouldn't do repo. I mean, you could do repo, but that's a whole nother story. I would stick with." Uh, cars that break down, dealership service departments, and auctions. And you've got that. It keeps you busy cash flow. While you're doing that, you start asking, where did those cars come from? And then you start paying attention. They came from this this auction, that, oh, okay. Then they start asking you, can you go get, you know, 150 miles down the road and go pick up two for me? Well, I can. It's going to cost you this much. Then you just gradually start building is what I'm saying. So I've, I've just always been a tight circle. Everybody, I want everybody to know what I do. So the reason I was saying the two-car rollback was because you're very versatile and you have the opportunity to start building that f- foundation where you live. That's I'm a big, big fan of building relationships where you live. I'm a big fan of everybody in your neighborhood knowing who you are and what you do. When I mean your neighborhood, I don't mean where your house is. I mean where all the car dealers are, right? So where you live, I want to get into the business. Okay, don't buy, don't spend a dime. Get in your car and drive around and start talking to car dealers. And where did those cars come from? Those cars. It's so funny because that was the next thing on my list is do, what is it? Do carers look at what other carers are hauling? And then ask questions about why. Mm. Like well, you, when you're you driving talk, down the road, no, yeah. but well, do, they nobody to really talk. They might talk to themselves in the truck, like, oh, what that, that guy have? But that's yeah, what, go ahead. Well, that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Like you, you've said to me, Jay. What did you see? Those that <laughs> were just the other day when I was yeah. big stinger, high rail stinger. Everybody right. knows what a high rail is, right? Uh, high rail stinger turns in front of Jay and I. And I said, Jay, what do you see? Uh, Stinger. Okay. What else do you see? I don't know why you keep asking me those questions. Well, did you see the auction stickers on the back of the car? No, I didn't. Well, there's auction stickers on the back of the car. They got the run number, the VIN number, the year, the make, the mile, where probably the seller, probably the auction. It's all right there on that sticker. Like, oh, okay. So where, what's, what does that mean? I said, well, it means one of two things. They either bought them online somewhere and they're coming back or there are no sales. What? What's a no sale? Does everybody know who knows what a no sale is? This is this is fun. <laughs> well, OK, so if you see a car on a trailer and there's an auction sticker and there, these were nicer, newer cars, by the way. I mean, these were late model, probably 2019, 2020-ish. Uh, they were Ford, OK, Lincoln Ford. So they're. Where we were, there's a couple car dealers down this street, and I'm going to bet a dollar they go there because I've driven by that lot, the one by the Quick Trip. He has late model cars. Nice. At his lot. So we turned before the truck. We saw where the truck went. But the point is, is I can tell driving down the road, okay, what's that guy got on there? He's got two crash cars. He's got a brand new car. He's got a somewhat used car. That's a load board guy. Right, and Absolutely. it's not just the carriers. You're looking at the dealers' lots. I oh, mean, yeah. It's Everything. constant. I mean, and that's the thing is, it's like, you know, you say these things, and it's like, yeah, because as a dispatcher, all I'm doing is staring at a computer screen. Mm, but if yeah. you're out on the road, there's so much mm. more to see. Yeah. But I've well, had why... guys on the phone with me, what do you, <laughs> you would die. They're out on the road. They're like, what do you see? I'm like, well... <laughs> uh, you know what if i said well what do you see <laughs> right? oh man oh, well God, the sorry. uh one of the tips i try to teach guys is when you go to with your wife or you whoever you're going with you go to a big mall parking lot the target the walmart right i said do start playing a game driving down the road start playing a game what's the game name that car make and model right make model and color you're like really ty why well have you ever gone to an auction and had to pull out a car Right. 
You'll need to know the make and model. It'll be really important. <laughs> okay. So last, we're almost there. Last thing is conference schedule. Okay. Oh, yeah, so yeah. We got to wow. talk about con oh, right, car conference. Go for it. You take it away. I've been talking. Yeah. Well, the car conference. What do you uh, see? So but let's back up. Just so everybody knows. Okay. One of the main reasons this is real important to me is because when I have my trucks, I knew this existed. I just didn't. Nobody ever said, hey, I need you to come to one of these. Nobody ever said, I, you know, I just it wasn't didn't even really know it was a deal. I knew something existed because I've seen the auto magazine, automotive news magazine that's right. like this big. So I knew and I would always snag them. You know, the last months I'd snag them and read them. <clears throat> come to the big conference. So I knew it was out there, but I also had this gut feeling that whatever happens at these conferences somehow has an impact on what I'm doing here. Let me say that again. I had a gut feeling that whatever's going on at these conferences somehow impacted my life at the transport parking lot at the guard shack. Okay? And it's true. It does. So I don't have trucks anymore. Jay and I are doing our thing. We love your support. We appreciate your support. Our advertisers, our sponsors, our I believe in ATI, all of you guys that contribute to ATI mean the world to us because we're going to these conferences and we're learning, right? We're learning what and, is going on. And I want to tell you, while you were thinking that, you know what it occurred to me? Uh, Nobody is thinking about this vertical. Not really. Hmm. Like I saw in Automotive News, they'll show a car hauler. And yeah. it might be an article about inventory. That's it. Crickets. I, or I hear a podcast with somebody in logistics. Yeah. But all they do is talk about, like, dealer stuff and an auction stuff and some tech. But no real meat about logistics. I couldn't find <laughs> any meat anywhere. Not real meat. Right. And that's, it, you know, this came up today. Uh, with Mary. She's like, I didn't realize. And by the way, Mary, I didn't know if you know this, but Mary's only been in this, this car transportation broker world for like four months, maybe five. Wow. So she's fresh, fresh. So she's saying stuff like, uh, I had no idea how fragmented the auto transport industry is. I have never seen people know anything that. this Not fragmented. Really. Yeah. Not really. And she's she's a car person. So she came from Carfax. Before Carfax, she ran well, a dealership. She was the GM because, of the deal. Well, that's because everybody's telling them they got 17,000 haulers and it's no problem. Oh, and guess what else I found out today? When she was running the dealership, transportation costs was never part of the anything. Nobody knew. They just <laughs> pay it. It's crazy. Which is that's so, actually interesting. Somebody, well, somebody was watching it like a hawk, I think. Maybe not. No. Not all dealerships. No. Some dealerships you can actually get a pretty good rate. Get a good and those, rate. And those what are the I'm ones saying, that, no, no, yeah. no. What I'm saying is, is that oh, that they didn't know the overhead. They didn't don't know, what, know what, it was what they're spending they in transportation. Well, and that's what the Auto Vista Portal annually. is for. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Auto Vista Portal. I'm I mean, with you. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. How did it's? I mean, it just amazes me. How does that's a dealer amazing. not know what they spend on transportation? I see. That's saying, crazy. Yeah. So they want a big that's discount. A good, that's oh, a client I'll, you want. I'll give <laughs> you a big way. discount, but after you tell me what you're currently spending in transportation. I don't like that they word don't discount. I don't, don't, don't use the word discount. Well, show me what you're already spending. Show me where you're buying your car. And that's why oh, AutoVista, you know, Marco and uh, yeah. Keith, that's the whole yeah. point. This is, this is the, and go, okay, if you, I always say go test it. Go test. Go talk to a car dealer. Ask him what he spent on transportation. Oh, oh, oh. Silver and Mint just threw a Molotov cocktail in the live chat. Oh, Are you I ready for this? Eddie. Yeah. When has anyone seen Jack Cooper hauling a container? <laughs> That's a pretty good one. He remembers the commercial. He remembers Remember the, the commercial, commercial? <laughs> right? That is the really jacket. good. Good job, Silver Mint. Good job, Silver, Silver Mint. Mint. Fast wins. Eddie. Hey, did you see what Fast Point. Eddie did? What is it? 
he logged he logged in with his Fast Eddie account and his Silver Men account and gave you two likes. Oh shucks. Well, we need him, so thank you. Yeah. I'm telling thanks. you, I talk about seeing if you can find one on the floor. <laughs> I know hey. they are. It is high. Yeah. Our core crew here, man, they go the I extra know. mile well, at ATL. We thank you, core crew. Thank you so much. We knew the core would come out tonight. Yeah. And and we appreciate it. You that. guys do mean a lot too. Jay and I talk oh about all gosh. of this too, by the way. We really Without do. the core, what would we do here? <clears throat> I don't, it'd be it'd be bad. It'd be brutal. It'd be yeah. terrible. So you guys are amazing. Keep yeah. sending Jay your photos, your yeah, comments, concerned. ATI at gmail.com. And when we get when we when we start getting more folks out to the trade show conference. Hey, by the way, I forgot. You know what? I got a uh I got a martini. Ooh. In a super chat. I forgot. Thank you. Thank you, Mark at Superflow Systems. Mm. He's like, yeah, an hour and a half later. Come on, man. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> Okay, back to conference okay, schedule. Uh, yeah. March we're gonna do last topic. March we're gonna do car conference, which by the way, we get to I get to speak and you get to speak. So this would be my second conference I've got to go to and speak at. I got to speak at AHA and now I get to speak at this one. This would be your second also, right? Or third. Um now you've done well, I think we you've spoke done at three. AHA. I did car conference a year ago. Two. Uh, this would be my third, I guess. Third. This is the first time we've ever had back to back. Yeah, now that's your Wednesday. First. I'm Thursday. This has never happened before, which I never think is, I think is the right format. I believe it is the right format. Think, I'm I excited think, about it. I think our own our own speaking time will actually benefit each other's speaking time. I think right. So, so yeah. you know, and Jay and I were talking about it. this is a big deal for ATI. This is a big deal for our community. It's a big deal for Ty and Jay, and we're really excited about it. I mean, when I say big deal, here's Jay's not joking. There's going to be all the sea suits in there. Right, all the guys that. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not. The... I'm painting a picture. By the way, here we got another one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Hey. hey, making martinis in the super chat. No, literally painting the picture. There will be guys in suits with like watches that cost more than my studio. Yeah, and they'll be like, "So you're what telling dumpster me fire. there's a dumpster fire." <laughs> it's gonna be the eye slit guys. Whoa! Really? really? Let me see. And you're saying that I what? Well, and this is so. First of all, that the actual getting to to when I talk. Said, and when I say eye slit guys, I mean the skeptics is what I mean, right? Like squinted. They're squinting. Squinty. Thank you. Squinting. Jeez, yeah. I nuts. Got Come on, Jay. Dang. Come on, oh, man. Oh, that was so cool. Don't you read the trades? Hello. Uh, anyway, but the, what I'm saying here is that this is a great opportunity because part of my presentation, I know part of Jay's presentation, is offering up some solutions on how to make this fire go away, right? Or at least die down a little bit. And that's where you guys come in, the core. That's where you guys come in, the community, everybody. So when we're when I know me, I'm sure you're the same way. But when I'm up there talking, I'm I'm talking from a carrier perspective. We had Sky Holman on the other night. Sky Holman, one auction view. Sky gets on. I'm Sky Holman. First and foremost, I'm a car dealer. That's what Sky said, right? And when he said it, he said it with like some kind of authority that was like, whoa, you could feel it. So I know I'm speaking as a carrier, right? <laughs> so anyway uh that's a big deal we're really excited about it. Well, we're really thankful we need to set martin ramju man thanks well, dude. Uh, yeah i'm gonna yeah no i made a note we got to set up a time to talk to him um because we are fighting the narrative and more if we don't do this mm. god knows where the narrative will go Pretty soon they'll be saying we got 20,000 carriers, we got 25,000 carriers. It's easy peasy, just swing on by. And we got it, it's got to stop, man. Just download the app. And you know, it's interesting if when we look in the world there are, when we look in the world there are there are all kinds of narratives to be fought. I yeah. mean, I'm yeah. not going to get political, but no, there's no, a narrative please. a week to fight. Right? Oh, boy. Yeah. But in this industry, this is the narrative that needs to be fought. 
And yeah. what's neat is some of that grassroots narrative fight grew mm-hmm. from Dispatching Live, and it has grown to the point where now we're going to be at the conference. And thank you, Martin Ramju, for seeing yeah. the value in that. Yeah. Big, Martin, big Bob thank you, media, Martin. So. Bob at Media and Car. And media, and, it's Car. And, Joe, and Jody? As we, Joni Owens is with Bob. Oh, yeah. As we lead up to Car Conference, we're also getting closer to the IARA and mm. the NIADA. Mm. Hey, so, that reminds me. Did you hear back from anybody on that? No, not yet. That stuff takes time. Not a problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got I've got to follow up with um, with one of those organizations later this week. And there's that's one of the things I also do is I've got calendars of reminders and follow ups and all that stuff. Um, but so car conference is big. Then right around the corner. And, and I've already I put a bug in uh, Renee's ear about Repo Summit. Oh, no. Nice. That's not likely, but it's possible because Renee's on fire about oh, how man. important this message is. This yeah. message being, we talk about, we did on Dispatching Live. Again, Dispatching Live, it is. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> mm. it's a slaughterhouse, but there's productivity Ooh. there. So just that, um, why don't car haulers book repossession loads and we got into it oh and, man and renee couldn't believe what she heard and she yeah. wants to take it to she wants the repo summit to talk about this take it head on address it be real about it and under you know like listen we gotta you know we can't necessarily well, see the to me the spin here and i don't yeah. want to say spin in a negative way but the the way to, to really sell this, and this ties back into Vaughn and the repo bunch. And the this, repo listen, bunch. Listen to these guys talk. What, what is, what's the number one thing they're saying? We need more money. Yeah. Right? Which okay, is well, why do you need saying. more money? And then <clears throat> what they did that I thought was brilliant, by the way, they didn't just say we need more money, give us more money. They, they broke it down piece by piece by piece by piece by piece. I mean, just dang, 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 broke it down. Then they got something to present, right? What do we got to present? I don't know. But what I'm saying is, is this, this, to me, one of the reasons I was thinking about it, one of the reasons Renee might be excited is because this ties in, if they were to get more money, that would enable them to deal with us probably a lot better. Wow. I'm just guessing. I don't know. And you know what she also learned? It isn't just the car hauler. It's the folks posting the loads and just willy-nilly not... I don't know yeah. if you know, because I'm the one that was in the dispatch office, but the crap that's posted about oh, these loads yeah. is these so are, jacked. They, they leave it out, yeah. They don't tell you there's talking. no keys. They don't tell you it has no wheels. They, they don't, don't tell, tell you it's a repo. I No shit. I had a carrier show up, and there was a tree growing out of the car. Oh, man. Come on, man. What are you doing, broker guy? That's a crazy load. posted load, that but, load. Yeah. But even, it, it, yeah. So, and this is where, yes, this is part of the wrestling ring we talk about. So that, okay, that, so that was, was car, stuff. then it was IARA, then NARS. Or so car, car I, NARS, NARS, then Auto, Auto Intel, Intel Summit Sum- is mid-April. You are going mid-April. to that. Yeah. And yeah. that's going to be... That's going to be another interesting blast from a past because, and here's what's happening. Newsflash, camera one, is that each year when we go back to another show, it, it's changed. Yeah. What's up? How you guys doing? Oh my God, I saw one of your shows. Whoa. How often do we now hear somebody say, yeah, I've seen one of your shows? Oh, like, what? the other day. Who do we talk? Yeah. That's Mike great. Roberts? Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Like, what? what? You've seen it? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. And it's happening more and more, which is wonderful. Which yeah. means auto transport is reaching. It's now, it's starting to reach other folks. What yeah. you just said. How, okay. How did Mary from Montway know that auto transport was fried? Where'd she get that information? Where'd she get that idea? <laughs> She's seen it live. That's okay, how she's she did it. Yeah, okay. she's seeing it. She's feeling the pain of, see, and that that's again. See, when you're dealing with the POV, and, and John can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not the same thing as a dealer. You, I'll have it to you in two weeks, okay? Sometime, just I'll give you a call with the POV. With the dealer, I bought it like four hours ago. Have you loaded it yet? What? 
No, I haven't. I told you to be there on Thursday. What? Yeah, it, today's only Tuesday. I told you to be there on Thursday. Well, I just bought it, and I figured maybe if you had it loaded, I just thought I'd check. No, Thursday. Wednesday morning, first phone oh, call. That's just the, hey. another thing you were talking about. Exactly. <laughs> talking to dealers. By the way, this, I've had this note, too. I had somebody say, hey, can you talk to the carriers more about how they negotiate with, about loads? Because... Mm. Negotiate comes back to what you're saying. Negotiation, whether it's mm -hmm. money or time, mm -hmm. is it being handled properly? Is there more we can do? Yeah, yeah, plenty more. Oh yeah, ton more. It's education for sure, and that's what. See, you just said something. That, okay, this makes no sense. A carrier will fight with a broker over a rate, but won't go fight with a dealer over a rate. What's the difference? Do you, do you, um, do, well, the first word that, that came to my mind is un, it's unfair. It's fear. And if I piss a couple people off and then they're like, screw you, Jay, I'm going to talk to the dealer. Great. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that voodoo magic anytime. But I mean, you're right. You'll, you'll haggle with a broker all day over 50 bucks. You call back, call back, run around and all the, won't go talk to a dealer. I'm with you, man. And, mm. and you know what? And I've been scared. I've talked to the scary finance guy at Auto Intel Summit, too. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple guys. I've gone What's up to it. And they're like, <laughs> where did you come what? from, dude? So yeah. anyways, like they look at their friend like, so anyways. So, you know, yeah. Okay. All right. I've yeah. been there, too, man. It sucks. Yeah. But if you, yeah, I mean, you just made it's a good point. Easy. I hadn't thought of that. You're right. Well, that's it's, interesting. Those guys, are, and I, I learned this on Dispatching Live on Thursday. The carrier will call and fight with the broker for hours over 50 bucks. <laughs> Why? Oh, my God. 50 bucks, man. I, I, and that's actually good. Do you no, know people I mean, will fight fine. over, no, people will fight over $25. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I didn't know that. I learned it watching it's Dispatching nuts. Live. I, the stuff I learned on Dispatching Live, I'm thinking, wow, everybody on planet Earth should watch that show. And Seriously. I, and I'll tell you what. Here's the bad news. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it down. Same company. M Company. Uh -huh. I had an argument with a guy about a VIP load, and I couldn't get any more money, and I literally said, all right, how about, how about five bucks? Can you give me five more bucks? And he didn't answer. And he's like, are you serious? I'm like, seriously? And now I'm serious. Can you now do it's six bucks? <laughs> Can you do six bucks? Yeah. 750. Yeah. And I got stupid with him. Wow. But because that if when you're arguing over 25 bucks on a car, mm -hmm. especially one that's given a VIP title. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Mm, yeah. Ridiculous. That's well, why I call it the so, chicken nuggets of auto transport. Yeah, see, and I've never had to do what I've never had to negotiate with a broker. Uh I'm I'm sure there's something to do that. I just like didn't think of it until you just said that. That yeah, there's probably why not just go fight with the car dealer? Um which brings us to digital dealer in May. Is yeah. May first through third, digital dealer in Tampa. Actually got a I got an email back from Emerald. Oh good. Saying, you know, hey, we'll get back to you and all that stuff. And that's one of the that's what it takes. I'm not yeah. a broker. I don't ship cars. I ship media. And I yeah. work on it freaking constantly. All day. My calendar's oh. full of reminders and phone calls and emails. I've got folders out the wazoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you're when you're in business development, it is busy. Mm. Lots of meetings, lots of follow-up. So if you're behind the wheel and you can't do that, find a cousin or a niece or a friend. Find somebody that can help you develop business because it will change your life. Yeah, true. Amen. Preach it. Wow. The house is on fire. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. 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 Uh, uh, digital dealer, April. Yeah. What's after that? Auto Intel's April. Digital dealer's May. May, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're May. good. Digital dealer. 
That's Where's why, IARA? That's why I'm the calendar. When is that? Yeah. So um, I'll tell you. So let me pull the calendar here. Guy. I normally I close the calendar for the show, but uh, NIADA. When's that? I'm, okay, so I'm going to tell you. So you've got okay, a digital dealer. By the way, what's May? What is happening May first through third? And we didn't even talk about it, and we're not going to really talk about it. Oh, Anything? I don't even Anybody? Say what you say? <laughs> you got your Next. duck collar handy? Okay. All right. Jay, That's come on. Fine. I'm, Jay, I'm, oh well. But I'm, I'm making a point. And oh you, well. Right? All right. Go oh well. Did you see that? <laughs> it is what it <laughs> is, crazy. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh All well. Right, let's keep going. Yeah. Um. Also in in May, uh, May 9th, Huntington Beach. Oh well. Oh Not well. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna we'll go see. That's on the maybe. On well, we might well, have I some know. friends. Remember. Uh, no, we don't now. No, that's out. Okay. I mean, we still have friends, but they're not going either. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, All so right. yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> used car? Did you know Used Car Week Canada is June twelfth through fourteenth? I have and a passport. You do? I was wondering that. You know, it's funny. I'm like, Ty doesn't have a passport. I got a passport. That's great. Okay, well, good because. Um, we have friends going to that. We might want to talk about that. I don't have that. a Twix card, Candy, <clears throat> but I got a passport. Um, NIADA Vegas, 19th through 22nd of June. Okay, you're going to be. Okay, so June. that one, that one is a is a May, is June. A wow. So we got I, April, May, June. Okay, yeah. keep going. Now, we go through, with, I don't know anything on July yet, but IARA Summer Roundtable Chicago is August. 22nd mm. and now we're into the fall digital dealer in october used car week in november rinse and repeat and i know there's a couple more in there but i mean i you know i hate to say it since we're just we're just you know airing the laundry yeah. and there's nobody here anyway is that yeah. i mean automotive logistics has fallen off the calendar i i, I don't know yeah, why i keep saying i'm gonna shoot chris oh, well, and talk to him. i don't i really don't I, i'm not it down, proud of chris. it i just no i know i'm not it's tough chris well you can't chris please everybody all the time good way got yeah, it yeah email him man i will and here's the thing I, i'm going to tell you something really crazy yeah Are you ready yeah they open the email every week mm, yeah did you I hear remember that? you've told me that yeah i know it's crazy That's... like do you know how many people open the email every week and never talk to us? It's a well, lot. I open a lot of other people's emails and never talk to them. Well, and I'll tell you what, I learned something. You know what? Sometimes I click on an email just so it's not, it looks opened, but I didn't read it. Is that what's going on? Well, why not unsubscribe? Well, that's I don't just know, me. I, I don't unsubscribe I don't from some <laughs> stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm in media, but I don't want to read it. Yeah. There's uh it's hard to say. I love the end of the show. Somebody I think already said the end of the show's the best because it gets really crazy. <laughs> like these guys are going way <laughs> off the rail. <laughs> Whoa. It's crazy. Okay. Auto so finish FVL's <sighs> probably a no. Yeah, we're um, I mean it's it's too expensive. It's short yeah. and I don't yeah. think it has any business proposition right now. Well, the problem with us being in a place like that is we are way too loose. Well, right? well there, I think that's why we're not script, going anymore. You don't get in. If yeah, you don't no, we, script, we we went off script too many to times. Script. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that. Not you can't there. Do that. Come that's on, the man. big boys. Yeah, no, no. we do that's not. The, you got the you got a whole room full of squinters. Oh, you do, boy. And those you got the big CEO but, of the but, big OEM sitting up there but, talking about what? But they're, they're up on stage. I've seen the panels. There's panels of people up on stage talking about how how much they appreciate the carrier. They're mm -hmm. they're saying it. Mm -hmm. But are they squinting when they do? Well, they're saying it as they're putting an order for 400 car haulers. So and they're buying a they're buying 80%. I mean, Globus, Sunday Globus is yeah. saying, we understand we just bought 80% of a transport company. And, oh, we got a boat. And, oh, we're buying an auction. Oh, man. Wow. Hey, Globus speaking of that, dude, global after the show, if you got a minute, yeah. you got to call me. I got to tell you something off screen. Crazy. What I heard okay. today. 
Well, I can't. I can't even talk about it. Tonight. Tell me tomorrow. I don't care. Make a Thursday. Note. Tell me. We got well, a meeting Thursday. Okay, we have a meeting Thursday. Three o'clock. Oh, okay. Let me look. Thursday, three o'clock. Oh yeah. Okay, so tell me. <laughs> don't forget to tell me. We have a no, secret meeting Thursday. Is... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You know, you look at the eight, last two meetings and then the third I, meeting. I tell you, ATI. <laughs> this this is now getting interesting. It is yeah, very, is especially after today. I've got more to tell you about today. Oh, I'm Crazy. sure. Well, yeah, I, I can, know. Well, I think it's just going to keep getting crazier. It. I. Yeah, call me tomorrow when you got ten minutes. I get, I really got to tell you about today. Tomorrow. I, it's unreal. Uh. I don't care. Just call me I next got live month. Carrier Whenever advice. you got time, buddy. Put well, me in I got, calendar. I got, okay? I got Brian tomorrow at noon. <laughs> and... Uh, Hit the timer. Ten minutes or less. But there. we'll talk... Yeah. Oh, right. and your Google deal? Remember how I kept t telling you about the administrator thing? I got yeah. the, that. I called you back. It's because okay. your Google guy came and shut the whole thing down. You got to redo it. I mean, that was my guess. Speculating live. Well... Okay, that's interesting. Well, no, I okay. I may have to reshare it with you, but I still have. I, I was working on it today. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think. Did you have to do anything to sign log back into it? Enter your no. password or anything weird? Mm -mm. I'm gonna look it up on my. That's laptop what it is. Is the Google thing, huh? I'm thinking so. Yeah. Well. Administrator, but anyway. Weird. Okay. Interesting. Conferences are good. Car yeah. hauling's good. I would still. <laughs> I'm not afraid to get into good. it. Yeah. yeah. Not afraid to get into it. Make ten grand a week. Uh oh, you froze. Okay. Well, there you are. You're back. Oh no, I'm back. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, man. We're at the end of the show. This has been awesome. It's nine thirty. So yeah. thank you so much. I think thank we you. actually. I, you know what? I think we accomplished our theme. ATI is in everything automotive because everything in automotive is connected. And I think we actually talked about that tonight and it took well i hope so well it should because it's a big ecosystem and you know i mean we didn't talk about the guy who puts up the displays at the conference we didn't even talk about him i was no, thinking the parts him, guy yeah. today you know if you want to go to a parts store o'reilly AutoZone, whatever go in there and ask the guy behind the counter how many car dealers come and buy parts from them you'd be shocked it, when Jay says mm. it's all connected, mm. it's all connected. That's it's wild. ridiculous. Yeah, that is wild. You don't think of dealers that. Dealers have accounts at the at the parts house. You think about consumers buying parts at AutoZone. But right. Yeah. yeah. Dealers got big B2B accounts and there. B2C. Yeah. B2 what? Big time. B2 who? B2 <laughs> what? B2. Don't, don't stop it. Just drop it. So I'm don't just going to say it. B2B. Business to business, to business B to C, business to consumer, consumer, right which on. is the difference as the, the same difference in wholesale, wholesale versus right. retail. So, what's yeah. your transport company? Is your transport company B to B or B to C or B to B and C? It, which one would be better? Oh, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> there you go. All right. We'll pass, pass. Keep looking. Look around. What's on the trailer? What's on the lot? What's in? Who yeah, can you start. Talk to? I like to play the game, make a model with your kids. Your kids love that too. It's a good game. I taught my kids. Play my the kids game, can make tell you. A model. What's the make a model? I don't think my kids would care. Well, probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> my kids didn't really care, but they know what cars are. But that's today. interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'll, so it's just situational it awareness. It's like it's like when you go park your car at Target, you find a landmark, or I do. Yeah. I, so I, I know when really I'm going to come back. So my landmarks oftentimes are vehicles. But, Ty, that's stupid because they're going to pull out. Well, they might, but I just memorized 10 because I've done this forever. I can almost tell you the license plates, too. Well, you're like Jason Bourne. <laughs> you, can <tell laughs> where the sh you can tell <laughs> where, where the shotgun's hidden. Okay. All right. No, that was a good show. I really yeah, appreciate us hanging out. We don't get to do that often. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Monday was good, too. I really appreciate that. What and, was my, uh, Oh, hanging out. Yeah, no, that was really good. But yeah. we got to figure out this administrator thing. So you still don't have access to the Academy slides. Well, I'm going to go check. Yeah, check I'm, it again. After I thought it would be a reboot thing. But Yeah. 
Yeah. Maybe try and send I don't know. I'll, but, I'll go you check You know, him. you were here when you retried after the Google guy. Maybe now that you're on your own network, I don't know. No, no really? I tried after right. I left on my own network. So, all right. yeah. All right. Well, It'll be all right. All right. We'll, re we'll reconnect tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everybody. Troubleshooting. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I bet they did. Oh, Good they job. loved it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Too many see apps. You, buddy. Okay, see you, dude. Thanks, everybody. All right. Peace out, Ty. All right. Thank you so much. That was fun. Interesting. Intriguing. Uh, trading information here on ATI. That's what we do. Okay, so I want to thank Rapid Recon, Superflow Systems, Ship Your Car Now, Ship Dot Cars. Thank you, Mark Superflow, for the super chat. Also, Chris Chamberlain. Thank you very much. I want to thank everybody in the live chat. You know, that was an interesting show. Um, you know, just sharing information, talking about different verticals. Obviously, I think we do that a lot. Sometimes we feature a vertical. I think we do that a lot. Um, and talking about all verticals in one show is hard. But again, I think it's important to explain, you know, why do we talk about trade shows so much? Do you guys get tired of us talking about trade shows? Does it seem pointless? You ever feel like you've had enough of ATI? I don't know. Um... But I think it's going pretty well. And we have a lot of, we do, we have a lot, we have interesting meetings set up and we, um, sometimes, yeah, some of the folks we talk to now surprise us that, like, you know, what they, what they know about us already. And that's really good because then that means we can, we can have more informative shows with bigger companies that can help make sure we stay on the map, which will allow us to grow and get further embedded in trade shows, which gives us more media exposure to larger companies with more contacts, with better content. And now, I mean, that's the thing is once, well, the momentum's already started. So now that the momentum continues to build, especially if we speak at more conferences and all that, then really what happens, what should happen is this channel becomes a literal competitor with what would otherwise be traditional media outlets that do not cover things like War of the Auctions, the ACV versus NAAA lawsuit. And when that happens, now we really have a unique channel where we're we're sharing information. And what will happen is then we'll run into some companies be like, oh, we don't want you to talk about that. And we'll have to figure out, well, you know what, we're going to. Uh, because it's important and it's good for the ecosystem. And I think what, what I've told Tide before is what I think, I think some companies that have said no are now like, well, how do we do this in house? We could do that. <laughs> we'll just copy these guys. We'll do it in house. We could do that. What? What's he got? He's got what? He's got a microphone and a couple lights. We could do that. <clears throat> sure. Call me if you get to episode 10. And when you don't, call me and we'll put a show together and we'll try to we'll try to make sure everybody's properly represented and that your information is shared and let's all learn something. So that's the that would be the ATI pitch. So um farmers are better customers than dealers by far. Well, yeah, man. I mean, uh Whatever floats your boat, just as long as your boat is floating. And remember, double check where did you get that idea and where are you getting the information and the follow-up. Because now as we see some of the get-rich-quick YouTubers cycling out the back and another batch coming in, tap a guy on the shoulder, do him a favor. Where would you get that idea? Are you sure that that guy... Why, why is he making that video? Why are you basing your business on that video? Is that a good idea? Double check it at ATI. At minimum, call Ty. 417-483-2764. All right, here comes the information again in the live chat. Guys, thanks so much. Really do appreciate it. We really, really appreciate you. And so we ride that rail too. Like, we are... We're brash, and we're humble. And we're humbled by the response that we get, 
and the people that we're able to network with and the companies that will take time on this channel. It's awesome. So thank you so much for being a part of it. Here comes the car hauler. Stay safe. Join us tomorrow on Live Carrier Advice with your DOT guy, Brian Riker. It is now a once-a-month show. If you need DOT FMCSA advice, man, he knows it. It's amazing what Brian knows. So join us tomorrow at noon for 30 minutes. Here comes the car hauler. Stay safe. Equipment show Friday. Email me. Want to be on that show? Let me know. Thermonuclear Thursdays. See you soon.